Okay. The, the whole movie to reds. Is that the you recommended get, one? Red, white, blue. Let's do it. Wait. Yeah. White, blue, red. That's yeah. the move. There's more blue, too. Blue. <laughs> All right. Well, Unclick Podcast, sponsored by Dales, sponsored mm-hmm. by Source, as always. Thank you, guys. Shout out to Dales. Yeah. Shout Santiago out to Santiago La Verde. Santiago La Verde. Perfect. Perfect. The first it? one. The first one. The Santiago first one. La Verde. Beautiful. <laughs> the San Diegan in him always wants to make it a day. Always. Yeah. Always yeah. 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 Wanted, oh, oh, I'm going to make a video out of that. Oh, got some ideas. Good to have you, though, man. Cheers. Thank Stoke. you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. You've be been in town for a couple weeks, and we've been talking about this, so... Oof. Last day of your trip. I feel Gotta like do a little yeah. unclick podcast. It's the it's the last day of the trip. I'm bummed. We went today to this beautiful place in La Jolla, and it was beautiful. Like <laughs> the waves, everything. Like it was just perfect. I, I feel like I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. Is, it. is your first time in San Diego? No, I came last year for the first time to film for Thirty and to oh, yeah. film for Feast as well. Yep. And uh, yeah, we did a couple things here and there, and like yeah, also to hang out in the city. So it was a good time. But you really chilled here this time, posted up. I was posted up because I just wanted to like be out here and enjoy as much as I could. Like I have a big problem with myself. Like every time I go to a city and I like it and I just feel like I want to move there. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, San Diego was not the, how do you say that? The exception, like section, it, exception. Oh, exception. Not exception. An exception, yeah. And yeah this time when like jay was about to book my ticket i just said like if we can make it a little bit more like yeah since i have my friend out here in national city that he's all like always down to like let me stay at his place he's cool he's cool with me like he like we go everywhere in the car like i like to like it's a it's a pretty close friend of me since like we were kids we were having sessions at the dirt jumps like for hours and he will be like front flipping like that's why i'm so close with him right now because and that's alejo right alejo yep. yeah alejo they Lula. pulled up on a street bike santi was on the back and that's how it's they amazing. commuted over here just oh now God. every <laughs> time he's so scary <laughs> like the, the first time he like, oh, it was so scary like he got that like he didn't have it last year and like when when i pulled up this year he was just straight like you want to go and ride the bike? I was like, okay, show me, show me, show me. Let's go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but like motors, you said it outside that like riding a motorcycle is so common back back home, right? Back home, yeah. Like my mom had a motorcycle and my dad had a motorcycle. Like everyone just go transport themselves on a motorcycle. You must be comfy because he said you guys are going like 110 and you're not even holding on to him. You're just relaxing. I was, I'm not going to hug him on the freeway. That's for sure. <laughs> Why not? Because, no. Nah, that is imagine crazy, me, imagine dude. Imagine hugging Alejo, bro. I'd like, be squeezing him to death. Yeah. I have some like solid bars you can grab yourself from. Okay, so back. you hold on to the back? Yeah. Oh, like, God damn. Still crazy. <laughs> That's still crazy. crazy. Yeah. At least bite his shirt. That's what I, bite his shirt <laughs> from the back with that too. That, that that third work. point of contact. You <laughs> yeah. know? I got, I got him scared earlier because like we were like turning and I just like put one hand out like this and he saw it like I did it because I could see my shade on the, on the ground yeah and I did this and he was like I just saw like he's <laughs> I was in the back and I saw him doing this like <laughs> I was so why because it kind of like messes with his blind spots and he yeah, thinks there's like, people I was just doing this and he's like yeah don't, don't do, do that. that don't do that <laughs> but I'm just okay it, like it's just kidding it's just a little joke here and there but like he's a pretty good driver nice yeah. And he, so you guys grew up together. What was his? He was not grew up together. Like he was all the time. Like he's from Cali and I am from Tuluá. What's his last name? Why am I blank? I'm Duran. Blank. Duran. Alejandro yeah. Duran. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Mango is a nickname. Mango. Mango. Yeah. Mango. And, and he's been, and he's been out here for a few years. He's been out here for yeah. already five years. Yeah. Five years he moved here. And yeah, he was all the time. Like he's from Cali and he was going all the way to these little towns that was like around that, like all had their jobs because like 15 years ago, there was no skate parks at the area where we are from. So we were only riding their jumps. And I was personally riding street when like, there was like the rainy season or something like that. And he was showing up the whole time, coming, getting a session. It was like three big jumps. And here, here he is right here with the, with the bike rack. Yes, so the, there he is. There you go. There's, the, there's bike. the bike right I, I there. Yeah. That's the bike you guys yeah. pulled up on. There we go. Oh, I knew he had a YouTube channel, but I didn't yeah. know he, he filmed that. 
that, that, that would be the bars I would be holding to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys not, didn't grow up together, but rode together a bunch. We rode together a bunch and yeah, he was, he's uh, older than me. So like he was showing up to the jumps, doing the front flips and double whips and, and these things that I was like, just like getting to see someone to do it. And it was pretty cool. And he remembers me from back then. So it's like, it's cool. Every time we came here and we were like, yo, Pat house. And I'm like, hell yeah, Pat house. Let's do it. Like we grew up right in that. Like we came last year yeah. When I came here last year, we went to Pat house. I like, we were riding with him. He was still alive. Yeah. I came this year. It was like Pat house today. And I was like, it's crazy. Let's do it. Yeah. Like for Pat, you know, like he's crazy. Was there, was there other people there or was it just you two? It was the monster guys, spark guys there, like Braid. No, what is his name? Dubby. All, all the Bryce. Dubby, Bryce, yeah. uh, Andy Bookworth was there. Cool. It's cool to uh, just be the the guy that shows up on a king short and start <laughs> yeah. riding the ramps. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy to get a session with them. Like, don't talk with them much because like I will, I will I'm like, they will be talking about 720 bar spins and like <laughs> bike flip burials and I'll be just like, I'm gonna hit this lip. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to stuff fast. It's fun to watch. Like you came to my ramps and we're just like first run, just going for it. Your ramps are tricky, bro. Your ramps You're, are hard to ride. Yeah, but they you are. were just putting it down like right away, just dropping in, hitting stuff. Maybe like, I love that. You were like second run throwing three tables and your your signature stuff is beautiful. And for a guy who like a lot of people just, you know, you became you're known as like for your street parts for the most part right now, you know, on kink and everything, but you like, you didn't, you haven't lost any of the transition swag you guys. Yeah, I cannot, I so cannot it's just only so in your blood. street. I cannot only do it. it back it's in good to see that you still love the ramps just as much as anything. I could see that. That's what I was trying to say. Like how you just attack the ramps is like, he loves mm -hmm. this shit. Mm -hmm. Like you're not like, Oh, I don't have air pressure. You're like, get, where's the fucking pump? Like, <laughs> you, you know, like, Bro, I've been watching videos of your backyard since like I was probably like 10 years old. So, that was 15 years now. That's I was pretty, pretty crazy. I, I was I was pretty stoked to be there. I was just like, that let's try. I was now, stoked now. you're there. Yeah. yeah. Just pump it and go. It's tricky. <laughs> it I is. almost fell several times. I fall once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. The no fly bottom. He just tried, it's he, too fast. he just made a mean carve. It was pretty sick though. Yeah. He, almost, yeah. he almost held on. It's just, pretty fun. I, I like, you know, I'm gonna miss it. I wanna go go back. No. Go did back. You, you got two sessions. That was yeah two, two sessions two yeah. sessions how's your knee feeling from that it's good i had like a little we were riding we the first session was fine the next one i had a little pop but mm. we're giving it like one more day they're gonna start riding again some nothing serious the bad the the one that got yeah out. it uh, scared me i like got off the bike and i was just yeah. like oh i don't know i better be careful with this it's been some ups and downs but we're almost through all this shit Whose dreadlock is that todd lyons who the wild man todd lyons <laughs> todd lyons do you know who that is? Mm. You probably know if you've seen it. I would probably, I would probably recognize him if I. If I All right. Him. So, how does a trip like this come up to the people who like don't understand it? So you're coming <laughs> to America and you got a this few guy. things going on. There he is, Todd Lyons. You got a few things going on. You're hitting up J Row at Kink. Like, all right, I'm gonna get out to America, hit Monster Cash Up, this, that, and the other. You, you can explain everything you've done since you've been here. You've done like ten things. So how does all the how does that work for someone that doesn't understand it? Mm, for this trip, it's more like uh, Jay's idea. Like he came J Row up, came like he came up with like he mentioned like six months ago that we were coming to Woodward. Like we were like on a filming trip. He all, uh -huh. always mentioned it like several months before doing it like mm, like we're probably going to do that like when he mentioned something we are we are like you listen because yeah, it's gonna go down like, okay like yeah. your brains are uh, like already get sets uh -huh. for it and yeah it was like he mentioned coming to philly like six months ago and we just he just got the tickets for us like two months before we we were in there and we just made it happen. It's, so you started was, at Woodward? Yeah, yeah, no, we started, we were in oh. Philly, in Philadelphia with heavy crew, 10 days filming, yeah. crazy stuff. I'm looking forward to that. Like I like this, the stuff that Casey Harrison did was crazy. Harrison is the king of the East. Mm. He is, he is. Yeah, he's dope. And so full on kink trip then on the East Coast. And you guys like are dropping a video couple, from that. Philly was on, so sick, sorry. Dar <laughs> Daryl was, like, was on, Daryl Taco was on the trip too. There was, was, the was, was Ben Hiddle in the trip. Ben Hiddle, Hiddle, yeah, I knew it was a couple of old old heads, you know, medium, medium old heads. And as 
to hang on this topic for a sec. You guys are, I remember Calvin and Jay were saying that it's going to be a trip video and you guys haven't put a trip video out in a while. So that's going to be dope. That's sick. Uh, nice. Ben Hiddle, you geeked ben out, Hiddle. huh? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, it was so sick to meet him. Like they are all like super pretty nice, pretty nice people to hang out with and like just share a session. And it's just like, and it, it was beautiful. Like once all that energy and all that people like goes together, it's just like, everything is, just works the right way. Like witnessing the stuff that this one is doing, the other one is, is pretty, it's pretty amazing to watch. It's like things, it's pretty normal when you're doing it, but like when you go back and, and just like think about what happened and what you witnessed, it's like, damn, that was crazy. And what who, who you were hanging out with, it's like, yeah. I was drinking a beer with Dari Toko talking about like how <laughs> the trip we had in Colombia in 2018. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. It's crazy. And then we went to, New York for three days. We just were kicking it there. AJ has some friend there and we just stay at her place for three days before like heading to like Rochester and to like hang out, kick it at AJ's place too. Like it was so sick to be there, like met his parents and- Oh, at his parents' house? Yeah, cool. at his parents' house. They're, 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 like they are so cool. Like his, par his dad rides like motorcycle and the mom is, is just like, vibes she's she's so nice i've never met i've never met his parents that's amazing he has a pool too they have a pool <laughs> for sunday and uh and yeah then we we did uh, new york for four days film a little bit with austin augie shoot some photos and then we went to rochester for for three days we we met the warehouse we we were at the king warehouse that was pretty nice as well like no no words for that feeling like just like my first job was working on a bmx warehouse so going to a warehouse and like he was like a where the warehouse like guy too back in the back in the day so mm -hmm. it was it, it's, it's just like it was just pretty nice to see it and like the way that everything's coming coming out it's just just crazy and it's a big and it's big too i mean since last time i was there it was a lot bigger than i expected just it's, the the block of the building and all that stuff so it's 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 impressive it's crazy big. Yeah. it's crazy big no. it's been there 94. yeah then we went for 10 days, we did the King Week uh, at Woodward for seven days. I was there with Emma Fino and Anthony Perrin was supposed to be here, but uh, he had some problems with his visa at the Damn. moment. It's been... Is it has it been harder for people to get into America lately? I feel like it's been like people have more problems mm. than recent history than it did like at least when I was like, I don't know right now and like maybe is the situation with Anto, but like uh, when I was doing it, it was more because of the COVID, mm -hmm. like two years, I did I did it like two years ago and it was more because of the COVID, like everything was closed and canceled. So they just got like accumulated. Oh, okay. So it's, right. that's why the timing, every time like you ask for like a, a visa, um, uh, how do you say? Like a, update? No, update, no. Update. Oh, like a, yeah, I'm blanking on it too, but like a-, a Appointment. Appointment, yeah. And getting the appointment, like you were asking for an appointment for a visa for, for like now and you will get the closest appointment you will have is like for 10 months away. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. just too bagged up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that sucks. So, but Woodward, so it was just you and Emma or, and then who else? So at the end it was just me and Emma and like, we were like holding it down, making the yeah. events for the, for the kids at Woodward. We, we made like a, this super cool little project for like the, for the kids to like win some King stuff that would, they were going to every spot, like we divide them by teams and they have to go to every spot to, to like film. And like, we will, we will give the award to the, the most creative, the, the best trick, the, 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 the best gap. And it was, it was pretty cool. Cool. All this, all the shout out to Dev, the homie Dev out there in Woodward helped us a lot with that. And. It was pretty nice. I had a good time. I wanted to stay there too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you just waking up and right. Like, that place is good. Bro, I was waking up. I was staying at the lodge too. So mm. I was like, that was pretty chill. Had a, like full a nice room. hotel at the top of the hill. Had a full room for me. I was just waking up in the morning, going to take breakfast, going back, stretching, getting a session at cloud nine or the cage and 
coming back to the lodge, it was just 10 meters away. <laughs> That's nice. Chilling and coming back, I was like, I can do this forever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. You know, the hitting the mini mega run. I wanted to get more comfortable on that, but it's pretty hard. It's pretty complicated. It's like, it's, you feel like you jump longer. Like the jump is not the, the thing. It's just the quarter pipe. It's massive. It's like a Nazare Portugal type of way when you're coming out of the, like down the rolling and like you see you see the quarter pipe. The quarter like is hard to figure out. That quarter is hard. How high did you go? I didn't even touch the cup in, <laughs> but I, I, it was so fun to jump it and like break and and try to go to the top of that thing. I mean, I got I got like I got probably to the top, but I could do better. I know I could do better. No, I could do better. <laughs> the jump sick is the jump is sick though. Yeah, yeah. It's like a thirty foot wedge, kind of like you know. I was jumping the small one. That's probably 30 feet though, right? It's probably 30. I think that's small. I, I don't know. It's still big. They're all there. Yeah. So it's already, scary. that's the it's beginning scary. of your trip already. Yeah, that's crazy. That was the beginning of the trip. As it's going as good already. Like, this is a dream. Then we went, I went to, I came to San Diego to stay with Alejo for a week. And uh, I was having a rest a little bit there, mm -hmm. going surf, trying to surf in a little bit. And uh, then I went to Ventura for the Ventura trip with Odyssey. Yeah. That was super nuts as well. It Another really crazy good. team. Another crazy team. Boyd was there. Johnny Rex was there. Matt Nordstrom. Scott Sack as always. Preston was so good to watch him ride too. Like, shout out to all that people. They're like the people that keep me motivated every time. They're everyone. Like, that's awesome. Stacking on this trip. Like, yeah. Hanging yeah. with the kids at Woodward. Meeting the people at Kink. It's been. Hanging with J-Ro's parents. Yeah, shout out to Kink. Being Damn. Man, they're pretty much the... <laughs> making it happen it yeah. yeah yeah that's yes. it yes and what was that what was that earthquake story you were telling you were telling dennis so we were filming yesterday uh a little guest clip guest list uh -huh. guest list yep oh like More at the, yeah. okay yeah. full factory it's gonna be yeah. out coming it's gonna be coming soon we are not gonna tell the the guest name right now mm, another colombian possibly Dennis, I'm no just way. Way. I don't you know who it is. I don't do I know? Maybe I do know. I don't know. Another Colombian. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he might have been on the Click <laughs> podcast as well at one point. I don't know. I don't know. He's I got a know. good story. Uh, one of the people in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we were filming yesterday and like uh, it's pretty hot out here. Like it's it's like a hundred degrees every day, pretty much. And we were just filming. I was already like we were writing already for like an hour and a half, and I was. Filming a clip, I from the corner to the quarter pipe, and I just like hit the corner, got the quarter pipe, didn't get my trick that I wanted to do. I wanted to do like a, li a little combo. And then I tried to hit the corner again, and I tried to do a, a turn slide, but like when I was getting to the lip, I feel like I was getting dizzy or like something, the floor was moving or something. And then I just like tried <laughs> to do a turn slide and my tire, like my tire didn't even came out of the ramp. Like I tagged like this, you know, when it sends you like yeah. front ways. Yeah. You get wall slap on accident. Yeah. 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 And it's like, it just sent me front ways. I like, I controlled it somehow. And I was like, I gotta calm down because now you're getting heat stroke because again. I'm gonna I'm gonna faint or something, and Sag was just like on the phone talking, and he's like, "Santi, did you feel that earthquake?" And I was like, "I was in an earthquake." Was, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I feel it. Yeah, it was. It was it. Yeah. Okay. It's but. crazy. It moved it that much. Like you could feel it while you're while you're moving. You know. So that's so, wild. And you got a California earthquake. <laughs> All uh, of it. His bucket list is just yeah. getting bigger. I like it. Yeah. You did the monster cash up BMX day too. You're here for that. That was one yeah. of my, the best days I ever had in you my life. It. Like it was so fun. And like you just turn to the left and you got the uh, Kevin Crowley. You turn to the right and Danny Sanders <laughs> yeah, is there. Yeah. You know, like it is crazy. That day is something special. It's like, like it is cool. Something. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It was crazy here. Glad to help. Shout, shout out to shout out to <laughs> people that put it together. Yeah, yeah. Fudger. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you see that? I had to go back and do some damage control. I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. no way. They uh, the he school, got caught. the school reached out to Monster, and that they're like PR, you know, and it floated around. Didn't for they catch a you guys on the? Uh, yeah, and oh, then they, yeah, they had us on the camera cameras. or whatever. And the email was kind of funny because it was like four monster employees showed up on Friday <laughs> at eight thirty p.m. You know, like one of those things. You know, and it's like and, him, uh, Albert. <laughs> yeah, and it was like on Thursday or something. So, and then and then on Friday, you know, I'm talking with them and they were chill. And then I was just like, well, I'll just go fix it over the weekend. You know, like no 
like don't ask for permission to fix it anything like that i was like i'll just go fix it all and then so when they show up on monday there's no more problem they have nothing to complain about and then i just emailed the guy on on sunday night and i was like hey i fixed everything like sorry about that and he took like two days to respond. He's like, yeah, it looks great. Thank you. Boom. That was it Boom. over. Boom. You know, Good so yeah, it's done. done. So it worked out, it worked out well. Go. So they were That's like, the it, problem, yeah. you know, like, so. sorry, we scuffed up the wall a little bit. You didn't do shit. To the, yeah, it, it was fine. Yeah, it took a little, little bit. Yeah. So. Did you leave the ramps there? Like, I, I, I will, that the, would be one spot that I would be riding off. The, the ramps at the hip spot were gone pretty quick. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Someone took them? Like, yeah. you left them there? Yeah, I left them. Yeah. I, we need to, that was mm. one thing. That was the one takeaway from the jam is like, I need to have a plan to like make shit disappear afterwards, you know, because as it gets bigger, it's going to just be more shit like that. Yeah. You know, like the school just like emailing and then stuff, you know. It, oh, I mean, yeah. So. so that make it look like no one was there. The data. Yeah. Happen. Just like, hey, you know, it's I'm going to be busy. Like, learn. let's talk to somebody about yep. pulling the ramps out. And so they can have them afterwards and yeah. sort that out and 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 exactly. scoop up the asphalt and paint the shit, you know. You'd, so just so it. there's no problems after the fact, because it stuff like that could like kill the entire series, mm -hmm. you know, because it gets to some monster lawyer and they're like, what the fuck? And then, because when it's so happening, we don't want like, that. We don't want that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So when it's happening, you're like, "Why don't you do this? You know, this is the sickest thing. It's so simple. You know, you just build some stuff, get everyone together. Yeah. But then something like that happens. You're like, Ooh, yeah, but there even, is even then, I mean, it, damage. Yeah. yeah. There is but I mean, the shit. reality is, it like it literally only took me like two yeah. hours, three hours to fix it. You know, it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. I did it by myself. You know, like it just was like just went and fucking sorted it out. So it, it's not that big of a deal. So. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad it was a good day. I was, I told you, I told you at the thing, I was like, just keep doing one handed tables. I keep paying you. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I was just like, He's like, okay. I was like this, every like time everyone is banging this thing out. <laughs> and I just like go do a table. And he's like, I'm like, all right. <laughs> like, I know what he wants. I figured it out. <laughs> every I was like, I was like, you keep doing, I'm going to keep paying. So it was a fun day. Yeah. I also made money out of it. Like, it was a fun day. Definitely. Was yeah cool okay. i'm glad dude it sounds like the most like i mean i'm sure you've had some amazing trips over the years too but it sounds like good stay I mean, though dude, good stay you made, bro, you philly you woodward new york like ventura like Odyssey, down here King. la yeah, yeah you did it that's all. sick yeah it's been it's been a ride it's yeah. been a ride and like yeah so it's just an amazing time it's like pretty much what like i dream when i was since I was pretty young. It was everything I was thinking about and about doing and like about like just like as I grow, I wanted to like be this and do that and film this type of clips. And like every time I go, it's just like we go on a trip and it's just like time to do it. It's just like, ah, oh, fine. <laughs> like, it feels right. It feels yeah. like it feels, feels good. Awesome. There's not many, there's been a, me and Fudger were talking about it. There hasn't been too many Colombians who have like, done the full on pro experience, you know, like turn pro and then like stay doing it. There's some, there's so many legends we can name a bunch that have like almost done it. You're like, Oh my God, you know? And then they kind of get, they disappear a little bit again. Definitely. Definitely. You've already like pretty much pushed past that. You're like one of the first Colombians to really just become a pro and stay a pro. I don't know, bro. Like Christian Porras was oh, coming here. Oh, what a here. legend. Dude, he is so good. He was coming. He's someone that I'm literally oh, yeah. thinking of when I say that because he was going to be like the Colombian pro. He rode for Fit, and right? He yeah. rode for Fit. Yeah. He rode Fucking for amazing DK. Rider. Yeah. He rode for... He had a pretty good... He he was going for a bit. Like he, he was really a, pro for Always a fresh bike yeah. in Colombia. Like Fit was sending it straight yeah. to Colombia, which is pretty hard to mm -hmm. like do. And Because this guy, you couldn't deny how good this guy is there's so many amazing colombian riders you guys are all so well-rounded i i will i want to mention this right now that we are talking about it like pretty much all my riding everything i do is inspired on this guy i was right gonna here. say I you could guys see that. That. we are from the same town same same wow. city i grew up like my mom didn't let me go and ride the ramps because they were on a sketchy seat to sit on a sketchy part in the in the city that we were Ooh. living to. And I had to go like through the freeway to like get to the ramp. So my mom was like, no, never do that. I did it once. I pulled it up at the middle of the day. It was 12 in the morning. They used to sell right. drugs there. So it was like, it was just like the most sketchy situation to be. And the only person that was there was Christian. That's sick. The only person that was there was Christian. And it was like this deer park with like corners and quarter pipes. Hasmin deer park is called. 
And bro, he was just like, it, the first thing I saw was him just blasting and like doing turndowns, high gear, tabletop, one hands, the table, everything, everything, every trick. And he just showed, he, he just saw that a little guy pulls up in the, in the BMX bicycle and he's just like, hey, what's up? What's your name? Yeah. Immediately, yeah. what's your name? Oh, my name is Santi. What is your name? Uh, Christian. Oh. He never forgot my how, name. After how old? That. How old are you? And how old is he? Same age, almost. I am twenty five right now, and he's like 30, 30 something. I would say. Okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, a little right. bit older then. Mm -hmm. That's cool. He took you under his wing. I mean, he had a mean one handed table too. Mm. Well, mean yeah. down whip too. He, like he you guys do really he do. Got, he got like a tabletop one hand at the T one ramps. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't that make, was sick. Make the this looks like it was all filmed was on a trip too. Yeah, I think it was Austin, Oregon, with the beard. <laughs> he is also like a funny guy. He's just like, what's he up to now? You hear from him much? <clears throat> not much. Not that really. was crazy. Not really. Not not really much. He's yeah. uh, doing. He's just has some things going on right now, and yeah. has a situation going and. If anyone listens well, to this and understands it, lives there, uh, we need to get this guy like on the right tracks. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Need, need some some friends. Need, yeah, it's, I don't know. He, I don't know. Like he he had an accident a couple months ago. No, a couple months, couple years ago, and Ooh. and seems like hurt his head pretty bad. Ooh, mm. that sucks. And uh, yeah, he he. I don't know, like. Maybe issues with drugs and yeah. stuff. Mixing that's a with that's a bummer, obviously. Yeah, yep. It is. It is. It is. It pretty bumps me out. I I I will do like I tried even with like Santiago Munoz, the other Santiago, mm -hmm. to like he was calling me like worry about him, like bro, I'm worry about Christian, like let's do something for him. And I was in Spain. I'm like bro, I'm in Spain. I cannot do anything for like him right now. Yeah, like yeah. I'm fighting literally for my life, but like. I will have it on mine. Yeah, yeah. I'll have it on mine, and I will try it. And it's like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's kind of like a mess. Yeah. So. Well, hopefully he sorts it out. I mean, people, Nothing people do come out the other side. Yeah. Bro, I love him. Like I will, I, I, I will get his name tatted or something like that. I promise <laughs> yeah, you. Like, yeah. I write the way I write. All I go, I want to give all the props to him. Like Peace. I will never be as like good as him. Never. Like nothing to. Dude, that was yeah, he was like the Colombian Mike Aiken. Yeah, he was. he was, yeah. Yeah, what a savage. Oh my God, look at those trails, bro. What other Colombian shout outs do you got? I yeah, got that was, that was so crazy. Sick. When I was there, I remember someone saying he did that, and I was like, he, what? Uh, is that in Seattle? That's yeah. In Seattle, oh, yeah. no way. He, yeah. he was there? Look what at that. He was coming that's a lot to the nuts. States, like 2010. Yeah, that, that's why he, he's. Aside from you, the the I other Colombian too. that was like, you know, becoming pro and coming up here all the time and getting sponsors. Also, another Colombian shout out, Santiago Munoz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big, bro. Like they were the guys that were doing, he was doing backflip bar spin tail whip out of a, yeah. like 30, 30 feet their jump, like for best trick. And like, He's I was sick. just witnessing that and I was just like mind blowing every time. He's now living in LA. I saw him nice. in BMX day. He was so cool. Sick. Yeah, he's doing really good. He got the re he got his residence. Everything's going nice. Well. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Santiago Munoz, also big shout out to him. The videos from up are the best ones. The best footage ones? that he has. Wait, wait, wait. I will. You go up a little bit more up. That one, the first one, Santiago Munoz to Urbaya del Cauca. That will be the jumps where I grew up riding. I have some footage from there. To, oh, these are the ones where you this drop guy it on the is street? riding properly, like Look bars it. to tail whip, shorts, switch whip. <laughs> Let's do it. Flip bars. Are those Nothing. the jumps that you roll in on the in the street? Yeah, yeah. It's not like a freeway, but it's like a a main street. It was. In the, then now they put like a roll in before, like after the street, so you can just drop in and like go straight to the to the drop. Those but, look, those look so fun. They are big. Like I would say, the footage don't make any justice. But like the jumps are big. Like I was the local there, so I was like chill. But like I remember people showing up to like the trails, 
and like being so worried about like being worried, you know, like when you're scared, when you're going to jump the, the jumps for the first time. And he's like, ah, they're so sick. How the landings are made out of logs like that. It looks like they're lined with cardboard, too, like on the on the other side or some sort of like maybe like sign material or something. Pretty great. Pretty cool way to put it together. This is like a little town 20 minutes yeah. away. I, rec I recognize him. I'm sure I met him at yeah, some point, no, but I recognize really him cool like dude. just recently. My, yeah, I must have seen him at BMX day. Yeah. He's he's been doing good too. He he lived in Chile for some time too, living alone, and uh, yeah, Medellin mostly he will be. But like this was like a little tour he made out of the on the Bailey, and this 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 for example, this city is like uh, the city where Ju Sebastian Martinez is from, mm -hmm. like the, the yeah. young guy. Yeah. And um, another young Colombian yeah, shredder. Another yeah. young Colombian. I'm so stoked to be with him. Yeah, he's like, been staying with you a little bit, right? With yeah, Alejo. With Alejo's Alejo. cousin. Yeah, he's his cousin. Yeah. So we just like come and kick it i was last year with him in barcelona for his birthday so it's like pretty sick that we get to like be worldwide to sharing together cool. being from there what a how hard like alejo moved here santiago moved here michael michael moved here how hard is it to really like make that happen it's not hard as as soon as uh, you want to really want to do it and like you really want to get out of your comfort zone and uh if you are, feel like you are like over or you already did everything you needed to do at the place you are yeah. you know like michael all these guys me did all these things because we were in colombia like bro in colombia we're gonna be doing the same we did already like we are we will be visiting the places we visit already like it's not as big as it's not the biggest country in the world so you don't have a lot to like yeah. discover bmx wise obviously if you go to the amazonas or if you get to like discover the whole country obviously it's going to take a lot but like you want to ride spots you want to ride good big parks colombia doesn't have still like we have a lot of skate parks and they've been building a lot of skate parks lately but but still missing like you know like a lot of culture from like mm -hmm. bmx we had like this was everything we had for example that skate park he's riding right now i was going on sundays taking a bus 20 minute ride to go there because he was the only this skate park, this you with just a rail yeah i was because that was the only skate park we had back then like in like maybe probably 10 or 15 years ago yeah what I, and is a scene like I feel like there's the scene is always super strong in like Latin American countries, South America. People do yeah. love it out there. Like they will, they, the, I will say like any Latin writer from any country from Mexico till the, the end of La Patagonia in Argentina. Like if you ride BMX, it's like first your bike and then the rest of yeah. your life, you know, like, but like hardly hardcore, like. People, it's like I wanted to do it personally. I don't know. For example, you know Cacique. He's mm -hmm. been he's been doing like out there. Like he li he's from Colombia, but he lives in Chile. Yeah, it's just like people will be doing this crazy tour from like take grabbing buses and like just doing like money at the lights to like get money for your tickets yeah. and and your he was doing those and your traveling in the street and then, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, and your traveling budget to like just met places and go outside and me see what is what is what is beyond you yeah. know like that's crazy. crazy i wanted to do it imagine you're like literally just do flips at the on a street corner to get more money to keep the trip alive they like, do yeah. they do good in chile <laughs> do they? Be, they, yeah. in one day you can do like a hundred hundred fifty dollars like not in one day but like probably a couple hours two hours Something like that you have to do. I wanted to place. see. I feel like the it's pretty yeah, he cause Zika's another Colombian too. That's no cool, Alejo Alejo actually Alejo tried it here, I think. Yeah. Who did he what did he try? He the, did the, the flips in the street. No, it was it was Cacique. Cacique was Cacique putting was it in Obi, like yeah. the ramp in Obi, and he was just like flipping, Jumping flipping, flipping, and, and then just coming with the hat, like to like Was he doing it all right? Was people were people paying him? Bad. Bro. Bro, that's the way to go when you are broke, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, yeah. I don't do it because I, for like doing a backflip for me. Oh, oh my God, God. My <laughs> boy. That's why, because he Yo, is, he's in Barcelona right now. I will be is? riding with you on Saturday, okay? Yeah. My boy. Look at this. Oh, oh my, <laughs> over the lake. Standing up. 
I hope people are giving him Damn, cash. I, I wish he got his number, though, her number at least. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> Diego. Look, he got the bucket right there. Yep. Boom. I mean, yeah, that's the most impressive street performers around. No one does that kind of shit in America. Crazy. They try to injure, like in the, the kids that were living in Chile, they did, they move, they did like a European trip and they built the ramp as well in Europe. And they were like putting it in the light in Europe. Like mm -hmm. they got fined. Some of them oh, got, got deported. Like uh. some of them, like, it, like you can run like unlucky on that but like it works i feel like in it the works. states you could do it because there's people yeah, asking no for money everywhere no I did it. <laughs> way cooler than just standing there with a sign true i wish i could backflip like that we'll be doing it he <laughs> blast him off that little ramp a backflip over a car no, he have done it over like, like gnarly things because i wonder if american people say? are like in, in two hours in two hours yeah. 130 that's good that's good for just chilling right by the well, beach doing like, backflips. Also incredible bike riding. Right, ramps, yeah. hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, what do they pay for a one-handed table? Yeah. I if I was if I was there, twenty bucks. Oh, I got twenty, bro. <laughs> Every one hundred and thirty bucks for two, two hours. hours. Two hours. Yeah. I mean, like BMX shows. I'm not exactly sure what they pay, but you got to set the ramp up and drive to yeah, schools. Yeah. Like it's almost yeah. the same it's shit, really. Like same. relatively, you know, if you yeah, for you just got your little kicker, you just bring around. For when you feel like it, that's pretty. That's pretty sick. And maybe nope. some better intersections, you know, like Rosecrans and stuff. Like people down in OB might be like, I'm not trying to spend any more money. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was. Bel I think I was Belmont, but no, that was OB. Or, yeah, yeah, that was. It's OB right there. OB, OB. Oh, it was OB. Yeah, you're next right. to Dog yeah. Beach. Yeah. Yeah, if they took that down to Belmont, they'd probably do. Yeah, yeah, I think there that's, might be even better areas. Yeah. Double that money real quick. Yeah. Um. Shout what out a, to that dude. Yeah. So there's Shout a bunch. Shout out to Kazike mm -hmm. was hooked up, mm -hmm. or he is hooked up. I by forget Kazike's Colombian because he's so traveled. Yeah, know? he's, he's all over the place. So forget on the road. Yeah. yeah, you never know. He lives in Chile too. He lives yeah. in Chile. Like he's now posted there, like hard. Like yeah. it's his house. What's up with those jumps he rides? They're like huge. They're bigger than BMX dirt jumps. Hey, <laughs> my boy. What are those? Those like are like Colombian mountain bike jumps. Those there, are bro. Colombian trouble. Those That's are Colombian a, jumps? Yeah, they, they just I thought those were chili it. jumps. Those I, huge. I mean, the Colombians. Oh, the Colombians went there and did and it? They, they those are did fucking it. amazing. Because in Chile, if you got like. Those are sick too. And that's amazing. But there, oh, there's yeah, other that's ones. Not the wrong, that's not the He's right He's riding ones. the sickest trails all over. That's he, yeah, you know he is all over. Yeah. He's a savage. Those like, ones. Bro, ones. since back in the day, I, I have witnessed Kasike doing some stuff. <laughs> I am like, it was that like an open up film? flip. <laughs> look at the look at yeah, the first like flip is down. like he's like over rotated the first so one those and, are some wow. of them so those are some of the most proper giant dirt jumps ever right yeah. they got so dialed they're like proper they're trails but m giant trails because you know what i mean sometimes when dirt jumps get big they just start looking like dirt jumps those are like mm -hmm. squared off yeah they trails look like, still they look like an ice cream <laughs> yeah <laughs> the thing the thing in chile is like if you take some <laughs> land that like it's right located and like you take it you build your tent or whatever and like you start building a house and or you start building something after three years you can have the land the, the government the government will give you the land that's why they have now like they besides this they have another their park with a full house on and what whoever that wants to go and move there you can do it they why? have like they have like 10 beds and because you don't even have to be They just want to ride, bro. No, 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 no. That's amazing doing it. But I'm saying, why would the government let you? Like, that's amazing. Like, it's it's just, like a rule. Like, that's how they did it. And that's why a lot of Colombians were coming there. Everyone was like, bro, how is Chile treating you? Like, show up. just hooking this, it up. This, this is just the best take thing the ever. land. Post yeah, up. It's like, get it. Like, okay. Kind of sounds like the way it should be. In a weird way. I hear though, everything would be red. It was. Be it was back in, it was a couple hundred years ago. I guess so. Stake you know? your claim. Yeah. It was like, this, shit, this shit's mine. I will fucking kill you if you try and take it from me. Yeah. That's, like, that's something I heard from the guys. I don't yeah. know how true it is. It, I mean, there's but, probably something to it. But they have, they have, they like, they have a house. I love that flat like, rail. Yeah. That flat rail is sick. I, I haven't seen no one hitting that. So I would be, I always I would be showing up yeah. and riding that thing. <laughs> I mean, it look at like the one in my backyard. When but he, dirt. <laughs> yeah. he looks so small when he's like. <laughs> he's, he's 30 feet. He's like big. Yeah. Like X Games jumps. X, yeah. X Games jumps. Oh my God. It was a regular day for him that day in, in X Games. Regular day. 
This is a crazy story about Big your shout life. out to him as well. Yeah. He was on Kink already when he was showing up to the event at my local in Tuluá, in the big dirt jobs that we just saw. And he was like always fresh with the King stuff. I like me being a kid witnessing that. And he was like, oh, the King guy, Cacique. Yeah. yeah. With the, with the He's been oil. For oil a minute now. Yeah. Oil slick, cranks as mm -hmm. well. Mm. And I was like, oh, just tripping seeing that. <laughs> and now being like teammate with him, it's like, what, Crazy. Where was your first connection with Kink? Because I don't know if I know this at all. My first connection with Kink was through, was after we filmed this little uh, video event called Vamos. I don't know if you remember it. That was like a, a like video. Ba a Vamos? Vamos. A, okay, a yeah. video competition by Skate Pro and like all, they, okay. they got some sponsors. I think it was like Mickey's idea to film all of that, like do it by teams because there's so many people in Barcelona and we did, we filmed that. And after that, I I think Mickey or Santi, the filmer back there, the Argentinian filmer, Santi's everywhere. And mm -hmm. um, he showed the footage to Jay and and he was, he, Jay just, I, I, I kind of see on my mind I, that the story that uh, Santi, Santi told me was just like, Jay just asked like, did he film that in one day? Like it's just five <laughs> clips, but it's just like five clips, you know, like yeah. I drop off the thing in parallel and it's like, I was like taking everything off that day. like have some things going on back in the in that time so it was like everything like going on and so what was it uh, uh, yeah. jay and you oh and yeah with jay and um uh, and he showed that to like jay and like i've like jay was stoked on it and like he just hooked me up from like instagram i want to see this one medine eight years ago just embarrassing mm, it, it, this one is a no it's like I feel frustrated <laughs> with the video side because I feel like always my videos are, f are filmed on the on a rush. This was filmed like on a rush. Like I was living in Medellin. I was not living in Medellin. I, I was coming to visit one of one ex girlfriend I had there, and I was just like, I'm gonna. I have to film this video in like three, three, three days. You yeah. know, my best footage I have from Colombia streetwise, I will say, is the animal welcome video I filmed with Paulo Gomez, and it has like decent spots from Colombia, good looking and so sorry cool. i kind of derailed you there though but you were so jay jay was in barcelona at that time too and you're you're in barcelona hanging out i was already living in barcelona for okay. like one year it was it was it was just like a mess and like i i felt like it came in the right time because I moved to Barcelona. I I forced. I was forced to stay in Barcelona because at first I didn't want it to like stay in Barcelona. I this wanted story is to crazy. go back to my house. Okay. I just saw the video the other day of me like when I was selling my bike, and I just remember like that you bent on me, and I was like, "Damn, that was crazy. That was embarrassing." Wait, what happened? <laughs> he was like fighting for his life during COVID. No money, stuck Bro, in Barcelona, like, and they not no help. Like oh, but you couldn't get home at all. I food. couldn't get home. I couldn't buy food. I was starving. Everything was shut down and they didn't give a fuck about foreigners. Right? Is it? Yeah. So yeah. I don't yeah. Know if I'm wrong. That was what happened. And they gave us an, a an, an, uh, help. But like after, after some days, you know, when everything closed, it was like, kind of like fuck everyone. And yeah. that's it. We are in COVID, you know? And I was uh, starving, sitting down in the, co in the, in the sofa of my friend starving bro and i was like i don't have a dollar to go out and eat something i cannot go out and and go and try to find a job make something to do because it's covid and, no work, and like yeah. we are just locked in i feel like the only thing i had on my hands was my phone and i was like i don't want to ask people to like give me money i was just like i'm selling my bike i will get another one somehow you know i was like i sell my bike i'm selling my bike i don't have how to make money i was on a on a desperate situation so I was like, I, I, I don't know like what to do now. Like I, it was crazy. I was tripping and, and the people was like, really like understanding the situation. So like people was like, bro, like, don't do that. Don't sell the bike. Like I got you or like, um, trying to help out, you know? Yeah. And, and they did like, people will not let me sell my bike. I make the video in Spanish. I don't know how you understood. I was selling my bike. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> so, so you much, sent him, you sent him some money. I don't even remember. Probably. 
You oh. demoed me like 50 bucks. Oh, shit. Keep my man alive. Yeah, yeah. It was That's scary. It. And you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's sick. That's Lou to the least I Bacos. Shout out to Shout out to them if they listen to this. Yeah. I will pay you back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, when, you, when you're friends, like, you, you know, that's that situation too. Everyone was sitting around watching what was going on. And, you know, when you see something like that with your friend. And I, yeah. I knew I was going, I'd just seen you. You were like one of the, the last trip I went on before COVID. We were on together in Barcelona. Yeah. And then all that happens, you know. The leopard, the, leopard print, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. leopard print, Dennis? The leopard yeah. print. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to see it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring, bring it, it back. back. The hairline's getting worse and worse, so I don't want to shave my head oh, anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, head tattoos are coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, dude, he's stuck there after this. And then I'm just like, I knew he was going back to Medellin. That was his plan. I, yeah, and I had a and plan with Colin of, like, coming to one of the bands broke up or it was a ba- waffle cup, something oh. like that. And, like, I had, like, a project going on so i was stoked to go back to colombia make that happen and then like covid came and like i was forced to stay there all i have like a cultural shock and like it was so hard to to move there and like feel comfortable again like feel like friendly with the people like i feel like really the culture like we speak the same language but i feel like barcelona is like pretty different the people will be just acting different just you know just like yeah. cool to i mean the politics that you have catalonia and all that stuff it's is very still yeah. 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 world too yeah. you speak the it's, same language but it's still different it's still pretty yeah. different like still i different. felt yeah. the race seems for the first time i got my first fine for the first time i never got fined by the police and then i just come to spain and i'm like bam 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 and i'm like what the fuck is happening yeah. like what is this you know what one of those times that you are like what's happening like yeah. it was crazy but thank you so much and the people that helped me out on that situation that was that was pretty tight i haven't i feel like i haven't said thank you or anything after that it was pretty tight like it was crazy i didn't want it to stay there i felt like i didn't like the food anything did yeah. i didn't like the people so i called my mom one day like mom i want to go back to colombia like i'm over this like i don't feel like i want to stay here like there's not even jobs or like there's no anything to do my mom will be just like well, I don't have money. Your dad doesn't do either to like pay you a ticket right now. They are expensive as hell. So what we can do is bringing you to the north of Spain where your family lives. I have more family from like extended family, extended family yeah. in the northwest of uh, Spain is in Asturias. Good spots out there. Uh, so they were like, go there. Go there, we got your ticket, go there and you will be with your family. You will find out what you want to do. And I was like, okay, okay, let's go. I don't want to be in Barcelona anymore. And I I went there and I went there by bus. And I remember since I got on the bus and like we made the, the, the first stop to like get some food. I stopped and like I was looking at the bus stop and I was like, what? the fuck i just did like this was worse than staying in barcelona <laughs> i arrived right still next story short like i arrived in Gijon and it was rainy like i thought i was gonna move to a beautiful city like i saw like some google photos it was looking like it was london or something like that i was like this is gonna be beautiful i moved there it's like the community of spain with more old people yeah of, <laughs> so it's like traumatic going to the beach you just see old people it's traumatic i can tell you that i can tell you that like imagine you going off you going out to the port like chilling out like going to like smoke a cigarette in the street and you sit on a bench and the only thing you uh, the only people you see going through is old people it's, it's like so a, it's like the lake havasu of of, of spain, spain. Or something. <laughs> something like that so old person's place huh? yeah. i moved to the i i moved there they got me a job god bless jobs and god bless work but we were working on <laughs> a many factory that. that was that was we were working on a factory that was kind of crazy yeah it was like wax and like paper going through hot wax and like it can jump to your face and things and it was just <laughs> sketchy i was just like what the hell is going on <laughs> every time bro like <laughs> it was raining five days a week i footage Fuck. from my footage from my from back in the day in, in i only have insta clips i never filmed with a camera there i i you can see me like a little bit like like more thick. heavy yeah, yeah oh, thick heavy. Oh. like not super fat but yeah. like heavier and and like i was just like staying at the house after work and eating and and just waiting the moment to go and ride you know like <laughs> yeah i was just like 
I don't understand what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you go? How how long were you there? I was there for six months. Oh shit! I got yeah, my, okay, that's a that's a that's a while. Yeah, yeah. it was six. Months. I, yeah. I I knew I had to stay there. Like it was like kind of like when I felt like I started a new life there. Mm -hmm. It was just like damn, this is going on. Like my sponsors were back in the day, like Twin, which is a Colombian company, and like Animal Bikes, and like I was just like no which is understandable, not any help. And at that point, it's like not understandable, not any help, not 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 and not anything going on yeah. pretty much, like not even parts or anything. So I was just like, damn, like, you know, like it's over, COVID, yeah. what happened? And, uh, and yeah, it's just like crazy. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be my, the rest of my life then. Just damn. like working on a nine to five and- Getting burned with fucking hot wax in the getting face. Getting burned with hot wax <laughs> and- <laughs> And watching the rain, yeah, <laughs> because I was three hundred pounds on you. <laughs> oh my god! It was the first time I lived a full winter too, which was really hard. I never lived a full winter like. I, re I I I remember so good. I I showed up there like at in in September, so I still lived a little bit of the hot. It was chilling. I was like, this is, ah, this is pretty nice, whatever. Like, like the beach, when the winter hit, like it's, it's in the north of Spain, it's like a little bit colder. Yeah. So uh, I was just like, oh, the, the first day of like cold, I was like, what the hell? I was like, <laughs> I didn't have like the big, ja the thick yeah. North Face jacket for like real winter. I was just like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? My aunt was like, I will get you a jacket. Don't worry. Like, come here. Like, let's go to Walmart. And uh, it was just like, I was not understanding anything. I was like, why is it cold more than one month straight? Like, I couldn't yeah. understand anything. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, it was just, it was just winter. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it just got better with the years. I'm used to it. Like, I also, I also, like, I'm, I, where we are from in Colombia, it's just like pretty much hot the whole time. Like we don't have winter or like any type of, it's tropical weather the whole yeah. time. Yeah. So it's just hot the whole time. So you're you're in that city, I already forgot the name of it. So then you, you go back down to Barcelona and you stay and you decide to stay there. I met a girl. Ooh, love. In Barcelona? In Barcelona. Before leaving, I met a girl and like I kind of, cause all my situation going through my life, I didn't like pay much attention to it. I was like, ah, oh, girls, like it's the last thing I need to think about. Yeah. And then through my- you're gonna be locked inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will have been a good idea. No, that was after COVID oh, though. That right, was after right. COVID. And- uh, So after the six, that six months, so you're just like, I'm going back to Barcelona. I'm getting out of here. I got some money. The world's after opened back those, up a little bit. Yeah, after those six months, I was start, like on, on my loneliness at the at the house in Gijon, I was like, I was, it was a weird situation. Like we, I was not even talking to my family. Like I haven't seen them in like 20 years. They saw me when I was a kid. And now this full grown man, coming to the house, like, <laughs> like, like showing up all confused and things like, they were like, we were not talking <laughs> yeah. much. Yeah. And they also had like, they have now his, their accent, like their, their slang so changed. Like they speak like Spanish people now. So I was like, ah. Every time they were talking to me, I was like, what are you saying? What does that mean? Yeah. And, and yeah, I, through my loneliness, I start chatting with her, with the girl. And I was just like, typing in and she like, we, uh, she was like, oh, when are you going to come and visit me? I was like, oh, I don't know when I can, because we were not able to because of the COVID when they, op as soon as they open it, I have some money saved. And then I just went there and, and then I went back. I was looking at everything. I was hanging out with my friends that I was with when, when I left. I saw the spots. I saw everything. I saw Barcelona back again with fresh eyes. Everything was getting better because of COVID and like the time was running by. So everything was just like coming back to normal. So then I was like, damn, like, why did I even like worry about like being here? So then I just, I got back to Gijón because like work and, and stuff. And, and then I, and then I was just with the goal the whole time to like go back to Barcelona. I saved some money. I went to Barcelona. I came back to Barcelona and then got, got a job straight away. Like the, the goal when you like, I, I didn't have any sponsor, didn't have anything. I was like, the first thing I need to find is a job. The first thing I do, boom, construction, construction there. The, uh, the, I was like, I'll do everything. Like, let's do it. Like it could not be worse than the factory I was working at. <laughs> in <Hihon. Yeah>. And <laughs> 
And I was just like, let's do it. Con construction, you, you, need, you, know, you have a friend that need people? Let's go, let's do it now. Let's go, tomorrow, 7 a.m. Okay, let's do it. Boom, I did it. I learned, I learned to paint walls. I learned to like clear like the whole wall. San like, Santi I doesn't strike me as like the, the lazy type, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna like fucking 100%. 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. energy. Yeah. At every, everything yeah. in your life. And yeah, I was like, it was so funny because I was living in, in the same area, which is parallel, which is Poblesec. Yeah. Uh, I was living there. I was coming through parallel the whole the, every day to get to work to the building that is next to parallel. That <laughs> was where I was learning all my stuff. Like yeah. that was kind of funny, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. It's just there. Was, uh, it was not in the other side of the city. It's just like next to your house. I worked <laughs> there for like four months and I learned all these things. And between all those months, between those months, Mickey, I showed up once after work to Parallel and Mickey tell me like, yo, we are filming a video competition called Vamos. We're doing this, we're doing that. Uh, it's gonna be by teams, choose your team. Let's do it. Like, I was like, there's, there's cash. The Vamos? Yeah, Vamos, I think like a... Vamos, Co uh, Colombia, BM BM BMX. Oh, I think it, yeah, it filled it in there. Ah. There it is. Oh, it was an Ultimate Shred League video. Yup. That's what Back it in the was. days. Yeah. yeah, that was, USL was sick. Got all the gang stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys are filming, the, you guys are filming we, this video. Film, How long do you have? Hey, we're filming one day. One day. One day. Oh, so oh, it was one it's of those. It's all one day. Okay. It's all one day. And we started at 9 a.m. We just filmed it the whole day. And Jay contacted me pretty much after he oh, saw all this. Oh, my God. Who Cap, was that? Cap, my that homie Cap. He's crazy. from Colombia, too. <laughs> he's from Colombia, too. Fucking peg oh, hook. Dude. I was just like, bro, that we're just getting it started. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Fucking fourth that peg. Classic. That's why I don't have it on. That's why You're I don't have it on. Fact. That was his fucking dopest slam ever. This was a junkie that was like just hanging out with us the whole time. Oh Which shit! I didn't even notice. Yeah, he's a, a junkie. <laughs> That's pretty legit. Yeah, he must have used to ride, bro. It's people just show up to parallel. The people that is like lost and confused and all the like visitors and like people that move from African countries. Like yeah, they are it's a, nice just a place melting pot. Yeah. yeah. So one day, so you film this, and then and then Jay Jay is. It, did they have the cut at this point or no? No, they didn't have the cut. Okay. It was this was like f four years ago. The okay. cut has is yeah. two years old. So for those that don't know, J J Ro Kink T M and then now owner of uh the cut with Pato. With Pato. And then uh and then so Jay hits you up or, or Jay hit me off from the Kink page one day. Like after the cool thing about this was like we got podium, we won it. There was only a cash prize for one winner. Uh -huh. We did win it. Oh, sick. As, which like, we were stoked. And uh, and so we were like, oh, okay, this is cool. And once I just got, I remember I was like getting quite, like I was tired after work one day, like super like, then like this thing is hard. Like after work and, and I just got this message from King BMX. Like, yo, like, can we meet at the pump track? <laughs> 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 and I was like, who, who is it? No, I was like, mm, who, what did I say? I was like, which pump track? Like the pump track is used in front of parallel. He was just like, oh, if you want to meet here, I just want to, I just want to like talk with you about something. She was, was just like that. Like, I want to talk to you about something. And yeah, I was like, why does this guy want to talk with me? <laughs> because the thing is, I, wa I, I was supposed to get on cold. Oh. Because Jaume sent the video to Eddie. And Eddie was gassed, I think, yeah. uh, for it. And he was like, was let's, let's put this guy on. And and Jay, kind, Jay didn't realize about it, or Mickey, one of those guys told me, or Jaume. And Jay saw it, Jay, Jay realized about it, and he was like, <laughs> like, no, like, I'm doing it first. I like, could he, see Jay's reaction in his head. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and... He just hit me like next day, the video, like after video drops next day, like he just, he just texts me and, and he's like, he was bro. Like it came out of nowhere. He was pretty like, I don't know how to describe it in English. Amazing at that time. Like, like coming out of nowhere. Like I, like I was writing for, let's say fun back then already, because like none of my, like I was 
I was as well fixing my bike however I could when I was when I was there. And uh and he yeah, he just hit me up like he wanted me to write for Kink and he wanted to like support the thing that I was doing and like keep it going and like get bikes from Kink, get a, a travel budget from Kink and the thing he mentioned, which it was pretty crazy by that time, like I was going to work to like get my papers and my residence sorted out. Yeah. When like when, to get to live there, like I mean that's insane. Took five tries. <laughs> <laughs> like they say, it was oh. the same one at the Los Angeles. It took five tries. God. Is that right across the street from Parallel? Yeah, yeah they had, they've there. gone 40. That's the, that's yeah, the yeah, thing they built down, like they took down. They, you were there. What time is this at? When did you guys stop filming? This was like at 5.30. Oh, right? you guys you stayed. They made me put the mask on. Yeah, They right. made you put the mask on. They were, they were going to find me because I got on top of the building. America was a fucking crazy time, but... It was better than a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on what part. <laughs> true, true. But uh, so then, so that's it. So yeah. he had. So he he was saying that Kink would help out with some papers. We, yeah, he he mentioned the things about the papers. He was like, uh, "I got a lawyer." Which uh, he said, "Like I got a lawyer, which I did my papers with, and I think we can get you sorted. We just need you. We just need to get you someone to like do yeah. it with. Did it with my ex girlfriend back in the day." And and they just they were pretty much down to like do it, cover all this, cover the expenses, and and like gu guide me through the thing yeah. because I was working to save money to start doing it. Like I didn't know anything about how to do, it. and they were just like, "It's like this, I got you." And, Hell yeah! And let's do it. And I was like, "Let's go." And he was like, first thing we need to do is get you to the state." So we did the residence, and he he mentioned pro straight away, like. I remember he mentioned it that day. I never asked him like when I was gonna get on pro or anything. Like he mentioned it since for, since day one. Like, like he wanted to work you there. Yeah, he's, he a, he's a pro. I mean, he's no pun intended. He's a he's a pro with when it comes to to like the path, you know, and the, like you know the flow am pro program and with kink and how they handle and he stuff. He knows seems at this like, point that who he's putting on, who's going to have the potential to be yeah, a pro. Yeah. So he's yeah. probably going to let you know that. I'm sure people he knows probably don't have the potential. He's not going to say that too right in the beginning. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was probably, that's pretty sick. That's that motivation awesome. to be yeah, like, he no was way, I'm going like, to get paid by Kink this. one day if I keep like, going. Yeah, one day, like, it was crazy. He was just like, if you keep doing this thing right, we we will make you pro. We, wow. We want to we do it. We're like, we want to ride with you, you know? I was like, that's let's sick. do it. Like, let's that go. is dope. I and got, the bike, got the bike straight away. Like they they flew it from the states because there was no distro or anything in 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 Europe. There was a distro, but there was like. I was there for this. Hey, Dennis! Yeah, that was a good time. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that's the one word you can't. Well, there's a couple words you can't say. That's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but we can see it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. First tee, Rober. Oh my god! Yeah. I saw him. I. I I saw him a couple months ago. Like he needs to get out to Barcelona. I know. You freak out. He has so much. So it's not it. that long ago. So three. This video came out three years ago. So you started banging this out right away. I had some clips with Rich already, like okay, packed, and I was like sneaking through the sessions of like who was in town to even in Medellin when Rich first met you, he was already stacking with Santi because okay. he like he felt something with him. Like I yeah. gotta film this yeah. kid. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, like Santi no. was out with us every day, and he started. Getting footage. That's no. not the that's not the real story about it. <laughs> the story about the footage I stack in Colombia was that I didn't make the cut for right here for the video. <laughs> no. I didn't make the cut. I think you got too much footage, and Rich was like, "I'm going to do something with this." So you could you could look okay, at it. You okay, can look okay. at it both ways. Okay. You yeah. can look at it both He's looking ways. at positive. Pat, Pat Casey was doing a war right to double whip. I did a 180 bar over. Right and right. also, <laughs> yeah shaved in the side of your head so that might have been a problem with vans Bad. as well you have a blurred head like i don't know how that would have worked so there might have been a couple they could have just taken your there. leopard head and put it on his <laughs> and then just did it like that could have done that yeah, that would have been fun yeah it's all barca stuff all first try with with rich because we were the whole time like it was the times i filmed with rich the clips i have with him here it's everything first try because he was in town in Barcelona while I was like getting my life sorted there. And he was just like, yo, let's go out and ride. And, and he was inviting me to the sessions. He was like, if you want to snake some clip here, even if it was like the trip from someone else, he was like, Damn, let's do dude. it. Ugh. 
See, 20 bucks. That would have been 20 bucks for me <laughs> right there. Oh, Barcelona is so good for you because of it's like a it's basically a skate park. Street. That was that was another <laughs> thing after I came back to like Barcelona, like getting there. I felt like there I had like I discovered this connection with the street riding and like I yeah. feel like it was my university in the street riding. Like this is how you get uh. things done and like this is a real proper spot and like it's crazy how in Barcelona you have like sizes for it. You have like uh -huh. small up ledges and like even things that are better than in the skate park and you, they just make you think like you know, the streets way even better than going and hitting the plaza. Because mm -hmm. it's if I lived in Barcelona, I would only ride street because it's like a giant skate park you were riding giant thing <laughs> in barcelona there no. for giant fun. street in like, giant skate park. For fun, like doing gnarly stuff that's a sick ass spot that's a that's got to be a skate park right behind that a skate was the park. contract where i had the meeting okay. with in with oh that's really yeah, that's, that's funny it, that's, it. that's not a Ooh. skate park is that barcelona i think and that's girona it's like one hour away in car rich went with you there no, that was that was with Gigi. I finished it up the video with Gigi, one mm. filmer from Catalonia, really good one. Now he's a mountain bike rider, and uh, yeah, he, we stuck like stuck like for like two weeks, and we put it all together with rich footage. Rich edited. Ooh, he I put see. some some Colombian girls in there, which King BMX had to get banned as well. <laughs> Shout out to Rich. Shout out Rich. Wait, they had to take him out. Yeah. <laughs> There is some part where you can hear where the the song gets caught, and it's because there was like a, a <laughs> clip, a funny clip. <laughs> <laughs> this took me two hours. This took me way too long. And people don't write that thing anymore. I want to get a clip so bad back in there, but like now it's so f packed of tourists that you cannot really? write that thing. Even if you go at six in the morning, it will be fully packed. What's also, they put like stickers on the rail so you mm. cannot write it. What's the scene like in Barcelona right now? It's got to be amazing. Seems like so many. The people crazy are... thing that I'm gonna tell you right now is that, like, at this moment, I don't know because it changes like every week. Wow, it's it like that. Changes every week. It's it, like that. It, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show up, and there's gonna be like a hundred people that I don't know. There have been going down a hundred things that I don't know have been going down, and wow. I know it's gonna be like that because it happens every time I travel. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I go back to live there again. Yeah, it's like yo, you see this guy that move on and and did this, did Jesus. that. He just dropped. I wish I had a second angle from Did that. Rich film a second angle? Uh, it was Igor, the Ukrainian oh, the Ukrainian okay. writer. He was on the second angle and he kind of fucked it up. <laughs> oh. Still that might have been something to too, how you left for those six months and then came back to Barcelona after COVID and it was like- A different crew. It probably felt yeah. like, like doing that. Look at it. Hold on. This clip looks fucked. It that, is fun. It's pretty big. It's one of the scariest thing I have done in my life, yeah. and I only have that angle. I had a phone I, angle I like which I angle. never posted. It's cool. I always think it. I always think it could have a second angle. I just want to. I think. I don't know. I think in this day and age, just like how Calvin and Grant are releasing these like raw edits from a shit like five years ago, eight years ago that they filmed, it's like they should just it should just be a raw edit you know like all the raw edit stuff that that rich has like if oh rich haven't deleted that from her his drive from his hard yeah. drive you know like, like, if it was bad he probably went delete because rich <laughs> it's like rich always you know like rich always maybe. rich rarely uses a second angle oh he'll, yeah. he'll use the he'll use like the the beginning it's part of, of the that. second angle just to show the spot for one second and then he'll show the fish one but you, so you know the second angle exists and you want to fucking see it just because you're a nerd. <laughs> and I, the, I, yeah, you know, like you're like, fuck, I just kind of want to just I see want it. it more. I, I respect it. the art of like, it though a little bit. I yeah, do yeah. I do respect what you're saying, but same, also at the same, same time, like, I like how it's like, this is my piece. It's what you're and getting. The, and I, and <laughs> I told, oh, it's how you're getting yeah. it. And that's it. I totally respect <laughs> that. But then like five months later, give me the nerd clip. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. so. Give me the nerd clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, Even like let me geek out on it. Even five years for the real exactly. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it. Yeah, it's still, it's still yeah. appreciated. The real it's nerds are going to watch it. Yeah. It's refreshing. You know what's funny is I was looking for, because I told you earlier I was doing my taxes, I, pu I plugged in a hard drive and I clicked around for like two minutes and I found the, the drop-in clip that I posted on Instagram. What like, drop-in clip? I posted the, uh, uh, it was the, from, from this one. Oh. oh, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, oh that's so funny to see. To, yeah, I just had like an iPhone angle. And I you was like, filmed it on your iPhone? Yeah, I think so. Is it an iPhone? 
but yeah. I mean, it was in my iPhone folder. Those phones are looking so, good right now. Nice. I mean, could. I seen. So, thanks for the post. I yeah, seen but, that uh, spot. That's but, gnarly. But you know, like, fuck it. It's forever. Like five years. You know, that, yeah. was, that literally is like four years. So it's, it's like timeless. It yeah, timeless. Forever, so that's timeless. That and clip look, will yeah. never get old. Oh Me shit! There boy. you go. Look at this. There you hey. go. Hey. Shout out to Calvin. A couple second angles. Calvin for that. That's a good angle. Ah, uh, it was just like ah. Look at you! Look Finally. at that ride away. That is the swaggiest ride away Finally. ever. Finally, it sat took down on the four asphalt. tries. Ah. It took four tries. Damn. I, I ripped my pants. I <laughs> ate shit so bad. <laughs> the happiest swag ride but away. We, but we got it, bro. I was you so got stoked. it. Like, you got it smooth. When we showed That's up sick. to the spot, I was supposed to ride like the transition that is in the spot, and I was just like, it was also I was. Tr- planning to do it the first day of the trip. I showed up here last year in LA. I was staying at Calvin's place and the next day we were just like, okay, let's get, let's get, let's get out in the States, you know, like, let's do it. <laughs> and, and we showed up, this was the first spot we went to, which is K-Town. And, and I, I was, I saw the transition. I was like, it's so beautiful. Like I want to film something. The, the, the security guard came, came straight up and we were just like, I just want to try something quick here. Uh, I see it's my opener from the 30 part where I do like we should a, watch that 30 yeah, part I yeah. say let that roll where I do like the over over a, over a bench I do like a switch bar and then I do like a switch down whip you have, open, the, you have opening part right no it's no. like the th- 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 oof, I don't know fourth one there after an I that one and I killed it on this oh, no, one yeah, yeah. Oh my God. She lives in Barcelona? She lives in Barcelona now so for years. And she was Argentina? supposed to be, no, she's from Ecuador. Ecuador. It's, it's down Colombia. And yeah, she was supposed to be on a king trip and she just stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's the way it works. So when I was grabbing yeah. the run up for that clip, I saw this giant, I don't know how you call that. The, just the drop? Yeah, 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 I saw this drop and I was like, Oh, because I was right like, I have never thing. seen this spot on a video. Like someone have someone ever drop from here? And they were like, we are pretty sure that no one have <laughs> dropped yeah, from yeah. there. And I was like, do you want to film this? And they were like, I will, they were they look at me weird, like, sure. And I was like, then I just thought about it. I was like, is it too much for the first day? <laughs> they were like, yeah, we can come later. Like we can come later. I was like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. We got Jeff. And we got it right. We got Jeff that day. We got the boat angles. Crew was up. Yeah. Nathan, Dakota, Cody Martinez were watching. It was just perfect timing for the clip, to be honest. Yeah, the first day, I don't know if that would have worked. <laughs> Could have worked w- first try. would have. No more five tries. Smart of, the, smart of the veterans, though, to be like, oh, just hold off for a second. You don't want to You don't want to blow five days of your trip if you smash your ankle or something. <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. Might as well just... Give it a couple days. Was was thirty like the first? Like oh, you dove video, into that. video, video, video <laughs> part. <laughs> scary. Yeah, I think this is the one that my like I'm the more stoked on my footage. Uh, this one and the one that we just watched with like the welcome video with yeah. Rich. But yeah, definitely, I definitely want to film more and get like my Love proper it. a proper video part that i that i'm like stoked on i'm filming now at the moment with my friend in barcelona the italian filmer giacomo mm-hmm. we've been we've been getting some things and i think that will be the one that i will be stoked the most at least like when it drops until i do it another one i have really good <laughs> clips from this video for like the the odyssey video that we are mm-hmm. that like i'm pretty stoked on on the on was that the your video. first trip for that video was the first trip for, the for that video. video yeah that we are filming but i came with them last year for feast but yeah for that video yeah it's like and do you have any more plans for that video uh coming here next year at the same timing probably which will be like the deadline of the video but are we dropping be, something are you guys saying something that's not no zach, not? Zach, zach said it said they're doing in the full podcast one. i'm pretty sure he talked okay. about it all right fair enough it's like it's some, been mentioned some, okay some, i'm pretty right. sure yeah i don't know uh, they mentioned something about like having some trips if on not, it sorry <laughs> if not unhear it uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, it's coming out next year, and I'm pretty stoked. We we went to um, Ventura, we went to San Santa Barbara, mm-hmm. really good spot. Yeah. Santa Barbara, I was I had Santa FOMO Barbara, that trip. That looked 
Bro, we that were, looked good. We were waiting for you. Did you Bro. ever? Did you have Raban showing you around? Did you have Alex Raban? Uh, yeah, we had yeah. Raban for yeah. sure. That's yeah. a cool area. That's like yeah. so close, but so far, and I've never. Yeah, it's like four hours away. It's, like, a, it's a distance from here, from San Diego, deep San Diego. You got to do a proper trip different. there, yeah. like they yeah. did. Like, yeah. that's yeah. a smart Luis, move. San Luis Obispo yeah. as well have some like good, good stuff in there. Boyd films some crazy things. Everyone, everyone, like that crew was like. I mean, I a Reiki <laughs> part, a Boyd part, a, a Santi Matt, part, Nordstrom, Nordstrom, a Nordstrom part. part. I mean a U part, maybe a Gary part, who dude, fuck knows sure. part. Dude, like Preston, the Odyssey, Preston, the yeah, Odyssey team Preston. is so yeah. fucked, dude. If the, for I a full length, yeah. li- we're not even. We didn't even go halfway through that list. Yeah, like, yeah, it is a stack. Dugan, like, damn, Justin Spree, yeah, Paris, yeah, Noah. The list goes on. You're contractually. You you are like contracted to know everybody. Where I'm, 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 I'm still going. I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> he has to know every single Let's person. Do it next year, <laughs> yeah. Up to the next one. Up to the next one. Yeah, they mentioned something. I want to get on one of those trips. Though. Yeah, it will be with you. It will be fun. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to talk Before about next year. Like trick. <laughs> That's far away. Wait. Trick yeah. choice stuff. Like obviously, like the table right. off of that is is fucking sick. But you wouldn't. Most people wouldn't. This was expect second. It. This was second try. Like compared to the Nolly Bar, but. It was this type of spot that I, I was looking at for probably two years. Like one day, just I was just uh, watching YouTube videos and I saw this Trasher My War uh, oh, yeah. video with like I don't know with some random guy I cannot remember his name, and and the the clip is him dropping from the roof to the to the bank, which he had like a huge jacket, you know, with the skate, the yeah, speed yeah, is yeah, fog. the leather. And I saw it and I was like, if I like I wanna just jump out of that so bad. Like I wanna do whatever. And once I like, ne, Colvin asked me like, is is there anything you would like to hit here in the state? I was like, I will hit whatever, but like this spot is the one. Like I wanna go there and like film it. I also have never seen anyone like dropping from there. I was no, like, yeah. I was asking to him like, have haven't Dennis seen this thing? Like why Dennis haven't done a tell whip out of this? You know like. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tail fuck every with day. It. With it. <laughs> you will after yep. that one in right here. Oh my god! Um, so how do you how do you land on table though? Like, uh, I mean, it's just like I thought it was like a perfect clip for like shooting it. Yeah, more than like a more like video, but it was just like a. Uh, it was just like one day we we went we went out to warm up and like they didn't. Uh, Calvin, the, uh, all the guys, Jay and Calvin, I was asking them the whole day long, like, where were we going today to like ride? <laughs> they were like, I was just there, right here and right there. Like, you'll be fine. I'll be okay. And we were driving down the freeway after like the crank arm to like a tires like clip. Mm-hmm. We, we got out with the, with the, um, with the program, the guys from the program that day. And we are coming down the freeway. And the next thing I know, we come down this bridge. We, we like, we come out of the bridge and I just look to the right <laughs> and I is. see the spot and I, I, I screamed <laughs> and I was like, yo, this is the spot. St- stop here. Stop here. This is the spot. And, and they were like, yeah, we were bringing you here. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I was like, it's the day. I was like, okay, let's go. Let's do it. And, and yeah, I was like visualizing the, the, the table from it, like shoot it. I will, I will be down to like go back and shoot it. If any photographers are down. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jeb, Z, Jeb Z. Jeb tomorrow Z. morning before you fly out. Tomorrow right. morning at 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <It's possible. laughs> but that would be sick. And, and yeah, it's just like, I don't, I, I love this framing. Like, it's like, it's awesome. It's just a drop, it's a drop in, but the bank was huge. I remember Jay got scared and he didn't want to see me like jumping it because <laughs> I tried to drop him from the bike, like without, like, oh, without just, doing it off the roof. Yeah. Just like trying it top, from the top of the landing. And I remember my hand slipping off Ugh. and I just getting it back. And he just saw that. And he was like, I'll go to the band. Like, sorry. <laughs> I was like, bro, I got this. Come on. <laughs> uh, I love Dak in the foreground too. Like yeah. I love Dak. I love like nobody. Um, I feel like if it was anybody else would be like, get out of the shop. But it was Dak. Not he, many, like on a road bike shooting with his phone is sick for some reason. Not many know. people would know that that's Dak. Yeah. Like, like getting to ride with him as well. It was like my first time hanging out with him. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's just do this now. You know, like, and it's, it's super steep, like super steep and super hard to, to like 
curve after like you land, like I felt for a moment, like my tire was going to slip off. And that was like the scariest thing. I was like, if I fall, I'm pretty, pretty much done. Like coming out of that speed and, and it doesn't look that high because yeah. the, the, the landing is huge, but it's I mean, really it scary. Big. Once it looks, yeah. it's really scary once you get on top of that thing. I would like to maybe like do it one more time, more clicked, ah, not unclicked. You did it. Unclicked, you, did it. you got it. It's and beautiful. getting the photo of it, like I saw, like a, a photo of it, like I I would be happy for the rest of my life. Like that was like one of those setups where I said, like, damn, that's one setup that I'm like really stoked on and. I would like to have a show a shot yeah, of that. That's sick. Um, did we ever the, so oh go ahead. I was gonna say get the shot of the table, then go back and get next a new year, clip. I will be back next year. Yeah, get Jeff. your table, I'll warm be back up with your table, year. boom with Jeff, and then mm -hmm. new clip. I will. A little one of your I feel switch like bars. I could or go something. back and do it. <laughs> switchy? You wanna see the switchy you're, there? You're good at them. I like your switch no, bars. You are good at them. Nah. He, that really was his switch bars or his natural bars. It doesn't count. I learned a real I learned them from you. Oh yeah? I I saw you doing them and I was like Damn, that's a switch bar. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my! Like, <laughs> does he know? Does he know that it's like? <laughs> Do you, I like? I but mean, they're not his, sw Christian his, sw Forrest, his like switch bar is not really his switch bar. Why? It's his, it's his scary. It's his scary bar. It depends on what I'm doing. When I'm going yeah. straight, or like a dirt jump, I'll just throw it with my right hand. But if I was going like off something to flat, I would throw it with my left hand. Probably. Did you see it more like ref. It really, yeah, like, yeah, it's it's like the, bar the market, like the market opener, because it's a switch bar. Oh my! But God. so his, but it's, it's not, your, it's your scary bar. It's your it like. Does, it just depends yeah. on what I'm doing. It's weird, right? I feel like you look way. But more I like when people say switch bar or whatever. I'm like, cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I wasn't. I'll, thinking take, that, the yeah, I'll, I'll take, take the point. <laughs> I'll take the point. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> no, it depends on what the trick is. What I'm doing. Yeah, I only know that because we did the how to video yeah. thing. I was like, oh, that's so crazy to yeah, me. You're like, oh, I'm scared. I'm going to do the switch. detail on that. You know, you're like, ah, the one that you do like off these stairs oh, coming yeah. out of like a bridge that is like a demolition thick. video ah. that one i did with my right hand because there's a curb at the top but oh, if there was okay. no curb and i was dropping i probably would have just scooped it with my left hand you know but what I mean? which one feels better that over when i pop and throw right hand yeah. for sure like dirt sure. jumps right hand but if i'm just like <laughs> so you know, funny it's weird so yeah. funny yeah oh shout out to christian poras and the rest of my writing will be like dennis anderson <laughs> <laughs> he did a one-hand table the other day and i was like that was so good he's like i learned that from you i was like i've never done a one-hand no, table no. that good you didn't learn yeah. shit from me no you were not doing 100 tables you were doing switch bar to 100 tables that okay would switch more as a darden who's the darden darden influence? does good yeah. one-hand tables yeah the Darden Brandon. influence. Yeah. But you do yeah. one, of the, best, one of the best ones. Yeah. Right now. Morgan, the tabletop one yes. hand, Morgan yes. Wade at the Mega yes. Ramp, bro. Like the, yeah. That is I, the best one hand table. Morgan best, Wade out of the Mega Ramp. That was like my background. Quote. That was my background for my screen <laughs> for so long. Like he on the Mega Ramp. Yeah. Like, I was like. Zach this. Warden has a mean one too. Yeah. Let's see. Awesome. Let's see. But you. you, you look, got, at the, look at that. In 4K. Shout out to shout out to Mavro Cam. Dude, Morgan puts it on his shoulder no offense to whatever you're gonna do here but we want to see oh my oh, god I'm at, I'm at i'm at like ha i'm at half speed you're that's the why run. oh no he just oh waits that long god. dude look at that Dang. that's just one of his average ones too and it's still the best when he describe when he describes like how he does it Ooh, this is gonna be a good angle for it oh my god Yes. yeah like snowboarding you know hey you got him like that just not on the mega ramp, but you, you have a one hand table. <laughs> Santi like could do it right here at this sticker. I, I could, yeah, I could do it like right here, right in the middle. That's the mega mega ramp, not the mini mega. So I would be like middle. middle. Morgan Wade is a BMX god. He is never to be slept on. Mm, triple whip, like nothing. Mm, and tuck it back in at the cold. Yeah, he kissed what him. He tagged, bro. <laughs> Dude, he triple whipped and pulled it. Have back you ever ride that Dude. thing? Uh, no, no, uh. -uh. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I've Savage. only rolled down the landing and hit the quarter because they had the they had it locked up at Woodward West. They used to have a big one. Mm -hmm. You ever see that one like down the hill? I saw it. Yeah. That was but they had it locked up. So we were just pedaling down the landing and okay. hitting it. <sighs> Fuck, it's scary. But it's honestly oh, not <laughs> as, like the the one that you're talking about at Woodward West, that transition's a little bit scarier because it's like the, steeper. The other one's like so long. Like it's not as scary. It almost feels like if you were to fuck up super bad, like you'd have to pull out so hard to go to flat where the Woodward East one's like, Doo. 
you don't have to pull that hard and you could be at I didn't the flat know that. I'm bummed. It's uh, like more transition to stay in. Still scary as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, I, I, I got you. <laughs> My mini was, the was mini it, mega was pretty scary. I think the mini mega might be sketchier. Didn't Gary, okay, Gary do a 360 one handed table over the, like over the so. jump? Mike yeah. Escamilla did. Oh, it was my, oh, yeah, it was that's me. Yeah, it was that's me. That. That was, Gary yeah, probably crazy. did too, but yeah, no, Rooftop yeah, did it. Yeah. No. Too I, funny. No, no, no. I wanted to go to World War West too as well, but I just ran out of time. It's yeah. a great place too. <laughs> that place is fun. There you go. There he is. Um, you so to, you going to the next Simple Sessions? What you, what you got going on? Um, after this amazing trip. After this doing? amazing trip, Simple Session will be next week. Which Damn. Uh, is it next week? I'm not coming. I'm not coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, down, guys. Uh, I'm not Why going. not? I go, I'm not going. It's right next door. Well, he's been on the road for a fucking. I've been on the road for a minute. He lives on the road. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Close to home, yeah, even when he's at home. No, I gotta move. I got, I got some things to do in Barcelona, so I need to like get everything sorted out. They ask like, I need to move in September. My, okay. I, I live in a room. So I pay a room. So mm, they ask me in September. So I have to go figure you live that in a BMX out. house or no, it's not a BMX house. I used to live in a BMX house. I had enough and then just uh, move with uh, Found another room, another room. Cool. Another so you got to move. Don't got time for simple sessions. this year. I, I will. Right. You've to, been on it. You've been working hard. But yeah, I will go to Portugal the week after. Portugal, that. yeah. Is there like a uh, urban the same ones that organize Barcelona Extreme? They are organizing like the same kind of a type of event, and uh, and there's like a good cash prize. So I'm going there. Is Europe seems ticket? really good for like summer contests. Like every weekend, there's like a couple. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like they I feel like it. I have missed a lot of them this year. But it's okay. You've been killing it over here in your in this. I'm stoked to be here. Yeah, yeah. expensive. <laughs> it is. It, it is. is. Fuck Chipotle. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sorry Chipotle. About Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle. Starbucks. Everything, dude. It was twelve bucks. Now it's sixteen overnight. Crazy. Um, I got her. I hit up Jay for a couple of questions, and he said, uh, "He said, how do you feel when you uh, when people say you're a dirt guy or a street guy or transition guy or vice versa? Like, what's your what's your take on?" You know, we have thirty. We have the welcome of Kink Party. You have Street Street, but then we also have, you know, I think when you're filming for thirty, you made a stopover at the Triple Challenge. Yeah, we went there. That was a. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty safe. I made a life out of that. <laughs> Those jumps were gnarly. Like I was not feeling confident at all, but like we made it, and yeah. we we saw the super cross, which was good. <laughs> but in that situation, I don't know. Once, like uh, when I was like younger. A little kid, I was calling myself like just a freestyler, you know, like yeah. two, two, two deer jumper for the street guys and two street guys for the deer jumpers. Like you are just like, I'm pretty much on my own word the whole time. So it's just like every time, like I showed up to, to, uh, for example, the session today at Pat's house and like, there is all these monster guys that do like baffle triple whips. And I'm just like showing up and they will be like, they will be like, they are like, who the fuck are you? I say hello and and they are friendly, but like un until I uh, until I start writing, it's, it's like, <coughs> what are you doing here? You yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. But I will say I I will never consider my I was a deer jumper back in the days when I when I started like writing and like when I was growing up writing, uh, but. I was also doing street because on the rainy seasons, we we didn't have skate park, so I was riding street. Like I was not minding. I saw Christian riding street. So I was like, if he rides street, why I will not ride street? I saw Dennis Anderson videos on the on the web and he was riding street on there. Why I cannot ride street? So I was calling myself when I was younger, a freestyler. Yeah, just no, that's because cool. It's just freestyle, bro. Like you cannot put rules or like names to a sport that the name is called freestyle. It's like, you just, I just go and do whatever. And sometimes even when I want to film a clip, they're like, you want to film that? And I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be cool too, because you go to, you go to all these spots in Barcelona and then you have like a, a, a different set of tricks in a lot of ways that some of the dudes don't have because there is such a healthy scene there. It definitely keep riding ramps helped me a lot to like going to street spots and like riding them faster than normal. Mm -hmm. That helps me a lot. And 
I don't know, sometimes like I've been riding street like for too long or like for too often and I feel like my body needs to ride a transition. I will go to La Poma in Barcelona to ride the dirt jumps or I will go to Marbella, which has like the mm, biggest mellow closer quarter pipe in, in Barcelona or uh, I don't know, I have to ride at some point of my life, I have to ride a transition to like balance everything also with with riding street like my street riding i feel like i crash a quite not a lot but like when i crash it's like it hurts a lot so like getting back to <laughs> on the bike uh, after that type of situations the best way is to like just ride train i mean it sounds very similar to what yeah. he says yeah. too yeah he knows it yeah yeah i like the quote that you were like too street for the park guys sometimes and too to do. whatever yeah. yeah whatever you said because i've definitely felt that where you're like what like he's you know like what that I mean? like you just because people do focus on those things and you forget that when you ride everything and you you do feel like that yeah. guy a lot well i talk with it's the same with boyd like i was Boyd's talking with same. him on the trip and he was like bro like at the park course at the s games people was just calling me street rider and in this in in the street <laughs> course they were just calling me park rider where am i you know yeah. you go to the fucking crowd <laughs> and just yeah. sit in the bleachers yeah, street rider. <laughs> yeah that's funny that's so true that is i mean that's it is crazy I'm, it is i'm glad that there's that is a thing though there's a lot of you guys and us like the freestylers weirdos yeah, <laughs> yeah j-ro called it, a it. atv yeah, like all terrain TV. yeah yeah what that means. All atv style like all terrain vehicle style like you, you like ride everything oh, yeah but all uh, right yeah it will be those that's guys. the colombian way though like all the best riders in colombia always ride everything it seems yeah, like that's the other I, thing I, like everyone was riding street too so like there was like couple ogs that were like nah only their jump here bro like dig or die you know yeah and i was kind of like that at the beginning too but i was hitting the street spot at night so i was like being <laughs> a hypocrite you know <laughs> <laughs> so then i was just like i i will say by myself i got tired of the part of digging and like fighting with people to like get things dig because i was like uh, as you said earlier, like I will give my hundred percent to everything. And I don't know if I can find this photo of my phone, but like I was waking up at six in the morning to dig the whole jumps mm. and like leave them like an ice cream. I, I was calling them. I, that's why I called them yeah. like that. Like I was leaving <laughs> them like shape, you know, yeah. it was a thing. And people were showing up in the weekends to ride after me digging the whole week. And I was just like, you're my friend. I don't want to tell you like why you didn't came to do this. So I was like getting on my head. So I was just like. Right, fuck I would ride whatever. Then I moved to Medellin. They had like concrete box jumps. So I was like, okay, this is pretty much like a dirt jump and I can ride it here. So I moved to Medellin because that's the other thing. That's the other part of my life. Like I used to live in this small town in the Bailey and then I moved to Medellin, which was the biggest city I have lived back then. I lived there for two years. Then I moved to Barcelona. I was loving it in Medellin. That's why I wanted to go back. And when I came back this year, I was like, I could live here again back. Mm, like Medellin's great. If this will have like a good uh, flight uh, connections prices, it will not be that expensive to like get everywhere. Like if you want to travel to Europe from Colombia, you're, you got money or- Is it crazy? It's crazy. It's, yeah. it's not crazy expensive, but it's expensive a little bit. So I was just like, oh yeah, I will live here again. Definitely looking for some land there. When you good. go when you go back, like what's the uh, what's scene like and what's the, you know, like they're like, they gotta be like, oh, Santi's back. He's rides for King. He lives here. He's over at Woodward. You they know, gotta be pretty like, proud. I I felt like when I went back there, I felt like just all the work that I was doing through these years and all the sacrifices that I was doing because not everything is just partying and having fun on the bike. I was having my struggles too. And when I when I made it to Colombia again, and all the people were telling me these things like. Like if I went to the army and got back and I was just like, I felt like I was doing the right thing. Yeah. And when I felt that energy, everyone tell me like, bro, you've been here, you've been there. Like you, when, what happened when you posted this? Like they were telling me about like a story posts that I did like wow. a thousand years ago, like while I was in Barcelona, like you were with Dennis, how was that? And I was like, damn, I didn't remember about that things like yeah, that, you yeah. know? And I was like, how you remember that? It was crazy. I, I felt like well received when I was back there. You're probably I, inspiring a lot of people. That That's cool. I felt like because I put an, an event together when I was there, footage having came out, Sebastian, if you heard this, we are still waiting for the footage of the <laughs> event. I told you I will edit it. 
I will edit it. Just send me the footy. <laughs> All right, Sebastian, let's get that. Martinez? Martinez? <laughs> no, he's oh, Sebastian. Right. Oh, his name is Sebastian Martinez too, but he's another <laughs> Sebastian Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it is. That's, the, that's, that's fucked up. <laughs> and that's pretty fucked up. And different Sebastian Martinez. Different Sebastian Martinez. And yeah, uh, a lot of people were like using my same clothes, bro. They were like, give me your shirt. Give me... Give me a sticker. What do you want? Sign here. Sign, sign, sign this paper. Like, let's take a photo together. I was like, bro, I'm one I of just, you. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> yeah. went writing. I like, yeah. I, I, I just, I don't know. Like, crazy, crazy recipient from there. Like, which I knew I was gonna get as well. But like, it's just like crazy to go through that. But, but the people is well receiving, and I, I was like that when, when, when pro writers were coming out there. And when you went there, I was as well, like, I, I didn't have much, but I was just like, I need to make these guys have the best time of their lives, however I can. And that's how it felt when I came there. And it was just like, it was crazy. I saw guys, guys telling me like, I see your, I watch your videos every day. I was like, watch videos. I just have like four, <laughs> three video parts. <laughs> like, yeah, like I'm watching those every day. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's do That's it. Sick. Like, I'm stoked on that. Put it an event together, bro. It was just like cash for some cash for tricks and yeah, some yeah. things. And, and it was not much money, but the people was like loving it. Like shout out to all the sponsors, King Odyssey for oh, helping yeah. the event out, the cut. And... And yeah, I was like, I, w I was missing everything about it, to be honest. Like the food, I, I feel like home. It's, it's home. And yeah, uh, it's the, a special the food, place. The people, everything. You see, I've how, never you been. saw how I nice it's out there, how nice is the people. Like you, you, you are there, you're vibing, mm -hmm. you're chilling. It's a great place. You're having a good time. Um, who, Skate parks everywhere, little mini ramps. Yeah, in every park. yeah is there? weird so mini mega. Little the, minis in the, all the parks. We so. don't ride them because they are sketchy. They are selling <laughs> they, drugs there the whole yeah, time. Yeah. Like, they, I remember I went They're riding. Like I, I went riding too. one of those, bro. And and we, I was literally just like taking a break to drink water. Next thing I see is someone coming out, like with the police. The police grabbed them and just, they just took their, I don't know how they call it. Handcuffed? Like, yeah, like handcuffed and like pulling him to the car. And I was just like, we are riding the mini mega ramp. Like, why is does this? It's happening because it's not a sketchy at all. You yeah. know, it's like a a, a place. Yeah, of they're nice, nice little parks. It's nice little parks, and you see people hanging out, and it's like nice. They got music. It's, it's a vibe. So he's like, okay, this is cool. Next thing you know, they take him like this. <laughs> they, they are like a cup, crazy car, pol police car, like coming through. Pulling up, loud up. music. It's is different. It's, it's, it's like home, Latin America. What uh <laughs> is there is there three or four dudes back home that are incredible riders that that deserve a shout out in Barcelona or in a, Colombia? In, in Colombia, that are still in in Colombia. Yeah, uh, just be the a young the yeah. young blood or the old blood because I feel I when I went there I realized that like I see a lot of new guys that when I put that event together I thought it was gonna be all like a meeting with all the old school guys and everything it was all new people maybe and young dudes and yeah. young dudes yeah. so all the guys that won in the event that we put together Truco Plomo T.O.P all the guys Joseph uh, Deco uh, there was this guy that was like super good from the from the North Coast I don't remember his name right now like I have so many names on my head but definitely Joseph from Cali, he's, he's been doing a great job, like having a camera as well and like filming the guys, like trying to put them out to the streets and like get them to do something good. But because it's like so easy to like get lost on something different yeah. in Colombia, like street side. And um, Deco, he's a really good writer from like, like there's just so many people there is like, they're so good. But all the winners from, from the event, they are pretty much. Well, send, send, when the video does come out, send it over. I'll yeah, send yeah, it over. yeah, we'll watch it on, we'll watch it on the podcast. I will text him when sure. I go home. What oh, advice yeah. do you have for the young bloods to do it? You know, like, you know, there's there's the BMXers who have made it, and then there's also skaters like David Gonzalez and then that, that new dude. He's so sick. Janka, he's yeah. sick. I'm so, just, like, I'm sure that's a dream of a lot of people, but they don't know the direction. It's just like <clears throat> maybe getting yourself to, as a Colombian writer, getting yourself to. Uh, use the subtitles or something to understand mm. what the people is talking about in the videos and like get informed of like 
what the people is talking, what they talk about, what the pro riders, every time you watch like a behind the scenes at, at the event, if the people is talking and everything, and you want to understand what they're talking about, that's super important to know which is the direction. And I feel like I will, I say it from my point, from my point of view, because I feel like that's what happened with me. I feel like I was just watching videos of people speaking English and like not, I was not understanding anything. That mm -hmm. was, that's the reason why I speak English. My mom was looking at me watching these videos, not paying attention to school and just watching videos in English, not understanding them. And my mom just being like, I'm going to get you to an English course. And that's the reason why I, that's why it. I started English. That's amazing. Shout out to mom. Yeah. Right there. Shout out to my mom. Yeah. And, uh, that will be one and follow your dreams, uh, whatever you want to do. If it's to be a basketball player, whatever you want to do in your life, just follow your dreams and ask it even if they look as crazy and like no one like thinks it's gonna work if you feel and you think it's gonna work just make it true make it yourself because if you don't do it by yourself no one is gonna do it for you like if you are a bmx rider and you see people riding barcelona you want to get to barcelona save money and sell sell something and and get there you know i was for the trip when i got to barcelona I was struggling for like traveling. I had sponsors back then, but like they were just helping me with the half of my ticket. And I was head, head selling sweet peanut at the skate park, or I was selling secondhand clothes that I had all to just like get some money to travel and like do desserts or something just to get out there. It's just like, That's you great. got to put in work and, and it will come, it will come easy as soon as you work hard and it's just pretty much it. Just get yourself instructed on what you want to do, whatever is in life and just get it done. Cause I feel like I have done it like on a crazy way. That would be like what I would tell to myself on a, when I was like younger or when I was 14, like instruct yourself before you want to do something before you do it. Because I was just doing stuff without not knowing really well what mm -hmm. I was doing and then realizing, oh, okay, this is like this, this is like that. So pretty much that. And there's a, there's a lot of examples. There's Alejo out here. There's, there's, um, the Michael. Yeah. Michael. And Munoz. The, yeah. Munoz. Yeah. yeah. It, a, a lot of dudes out in this specific little bubble that have like yeah. yep. manifested a, a some life of like BMX and, 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 and being out here, you know, like Definitely. Mo, Mo Jones doing those sea world things and every single day. You know, and it's got to be pretty lucrative for him. I would imagine. I don't. So it's. He's making a living off riding. Yeah. He's and that's, that's fucking amazing. And so, he's working hard. Yeah. That pays off. Yeah. So of course. He's, exactly. Exactly. he's a hard yeah. worker. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much it. That what I will say to the. To, to Good words of advice, world. man. Yeah. Get Chapol get Chapol to learn fucking English. Get oh, Chipotle. Chipotle. we didn't we didn't shout out Chapol at all. Bro, Damn, shout, fuck. shout out, yeah. Chipotle. Shout shout out, out Chipotle. all those guys. I was watching. Fuck, sorry about uh, that. That's a man right there. Can, I forget if, he's Colombian too for some reason. If I can ask for a video, yeah, Chapol. Of course, dude, Chipotle is one of my favorite. Santiago bike riders. Munoz is on it. Chapol is on it. Casique is on it. And they were like John Blood's just like going Oh, I wild. think I saw it. I almost clicked on it. Would you, it it's I don't a, think so. I, don't I know think so. I did because it said Santiago Chapol. It said started with Chapol, then it says Santiago, then it said Poros, and then and, but it was when I was searching your name. I did see it. I almost cr but it was not that one. It's called Competencia BMX. Uh, Chapol and his, his girl Danny too. Competencia. Oh, you got it right. I, 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 I took some years. I took some years. Okay, Competencia yeah. BMX T U L U Ah, A. Sorry. <laughs> that one. Uh, Bro. This was a, this was a different one. All right. Fair enough. This was a uh, probably 2013 measure. quick measure. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Let's it was see. crazy. I There's Alejo right. there. You can see him years. on the white shirt. He was Shout out to the Colombian scene. It was a good prize money though. Like the one that got first place, it was like good amount of Colombian money. You yeah. Know? Like a couple millions. Like we we do millions in Colombia, but it's just like, for example, one million <laughs> will be like two hundred. That, that was Kazike. Okay. Was that no, that was that was Alejo. Oh, that was Alejo. Yeah. He was he fall on a front flip and he was getting his his shoulder scratched out. That's Christian. Yeah, I could tell. 
Wow. He was just recovering from an ankle too. That was a legend. Another one. Uh, he, this guy, Jonathan Ferrer here, he used to write for King too. He used to, but via distro, he used to write as well for like a Colombian company. Shout out to him. This is Chapol. This is Chapol right here. Ah, Chapol, that's, Chapol. that's Santiago Muñoz. That's Firu, one guy that is in Chile killing it. Oh, Where's Frank? Frank made it to this gym? Frank is there too. Yeah, Frank is yeah. there. Shout out to Frank. Backflip, back backflip back turndowns, right? Frank's there. an OG legend. He's an OG, also inspired on his writing because he's pretty similar to like Christians. Yep. They were like writing together a lot. And so, yeah, shout out to Frank too. This is crazy. It, it was so crowded. That was the first BMX event they put together on that, on that course. It was, it was a, it was a, I would say it's a, how do you say, exito, exito, like a. Oh, excellent. It was, it was, it was really good. That's Santiago right. Muñoz. Were you in the crowd? I was in the crowd. I even got earlier home because my mom, the, bro, the people was just in it the whole day. It was <laughs> oh, like sure. triple challenge type of like jumps. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> that, that scab looked like from a week oh, ago. Oh, that was somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. La perra, yo. Little dude jumps too. God, yeah. you got to think how crazy it is. Just think, I mean, this is a little bit off subject, but like Jose Torres, like Jose Torres got 400,000 Instagram followers or more. Mm-hmm. Messi did a post of him. Messi did a post Messi of? did a post. Oh my Messi God. Messi like right there. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Frank. Like how much that shit's going to blow in Bala Loca and stuff like that? Like it just. Chapol, that's Chapol. Oh, that was Chapol. That's Cacique. <laughs> it's just bangers in this video. This is cool. This is 2013, cool. all you guys. Well, you weren't even in it yet. And he was like, there a, he is. Dude, Chabot you don't really flip it. is one of the sickest fucking He really players. is. That's Camacho. Look at Camacho. Oh, that was Come Camacho. Oh my God. Yeah, he was there. That was, this was, this come. He made this, a trip to get there. This, this was, was a legit. big contest. He didn't know Monster, no anything. He didn't nah. have any. He tried a double backflip on the, on the, on the second no. jump. Yeah. A hip? <laughs> yeah, bro. It's crazy. These aren't the same jumps though that. Are the same ones. Oh, so they just but got better They just got they smaller got because people was killing themselves on these <laughs> ones. They smaller. were so big, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other ones look better too. These yeah. Look, these these look big and ghetto. Bro, Santi was on it back then like he was a oh, peak sick. peak santi the hell was that <laughs> i think it was called a film burn mm. <laughs> he's in chile right now he's one of the owners of the dirt jumps look alejo alejo he always had a mean front flip he does look at this one boom baby no. oh, that wow. was the first guy to do a backflip in colombia what hector trujillo what a legend dirt jumps. he yeah, looked young a- still uh, but this this was ten years Ooh, ago. Alejo, Alejo, Alejo. It's crazy. Frank, three sixty nose diving. Yeah, why do I know that name? Does he live in New York? He, no, Frank. 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 He, he lived here. He for lived a long here. Time. He lived here. Okay. I would. I would ride the ramps with him all the time. Chip okay. Ball from Flip, bro. Like crazy. Really good I have the craziest clip of Chabol, or not Chabol, uh Alejo falling on a front flip in Texas at the Triple Challenge. It Ooh, is. Nice it looks like he dies, but Bro. he's told, he, he said he was he said he was fine. And I literally I've never posted a clip anywhere because it literally lo- looks it, like he died. It just he's he, a sender. He's, he's a, a sender, sender. And he was and he was <laughs> he was fine enough. You know, like I don't think he really got fully knocked out, but it was he was like, no, I didn't get knocked out. I'm like, all right, dude, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say. Yeah. I remember in BMX day after he took that crash, like we say oh, hello. Chappelle, yeah, we say hello to each other oh, that yeah. day earlier. Yeah. We say hello. I was like, what up, bro? Good to see you. Yeah. Like, yeah, we out here. And then he crashed. And all of a sudden, like 20 minutes after I come to Whoa. him and he says hello again to me, like, hey, what up, bro? Good to see you. I'm like, yo. I could have been Are you re- sure you didn't got us anything in and there? And then he was ripping the last spot, too. I know, yeah. He was he rode he rode the yeah, he rode like the wall ride spot oh, yeah, too. He yeah. Too. He on the first Alejo's jump, still front he tried a front flip tail whip on this video. No uh, on the second b- there jump. It just gets better and better. Like the best trick is at the end. And they're at night no, lighting I'll, I'll it up with bit. motorcycles oh, no. and she's going in. No way. They got lights Bro, for this? My shit? mom sent me earlier home because she said it's too late. I, I missed it the best trick. <laughs> <laughs> what a good day. Huh? People well, just riding. Just, just, so into the night, they were lit with motorcycles? They lighted with motorcycles and cars. Oh, I see one heavy light, but it's probably not enough. What's that mean? Go. Go. <laughs> Siga. So you guys, so you guys. Ooh, that was like a pat. They were just whip. eating it. 
the best trick. Dude, the, the dirt jumps are looking they are so much airtime, bro. And like the lip was like these ones that you just, you just see, like you're coming up and you just go is up. That lightning up. in the background. Yep, yeah. yep. The river is just next to it. Damn. That was that was finals. Who's and that? then Chapol. He Chapol? she changed the shirt. Front flip the hip. Dude, he's so good. That's that's Hector Double if Decay. Cha if tried. Chapol would have came over during due tour days, oh you know yeah. He'd have blown up. Yeah. I tell everybody, I'm like, like look, at the, look at his, look at this 720. Oh, because yeah. I would just call it a that 360 to 360. Like, that's yeah. right there again. Yeah. That's Santiago Munoz. Oh, nice. Back bar. Oh, you will see him doing a backflip. Look, 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 look. No. Camacho, bro. Camacho. My boy. Don't try My that, boy. Camacho. That was one and a half. That was one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a looped out one. Alejo, Alejo, Alejo coming again. Dude, he can't stop. Front flip. The front flip. He cannot stop. Oh, the 360 oh, yeah. double whip. Yeah, we got it. Bro, people, was the crowd was crazy. I remember I used to live close from that uh, area and I could hear from my room, <laughs> like the crowd. And I was like, mom, what are you doing? Damn, you live that close. I used to go and what bro, I, I remember I, I studied uh, in the afternoon and for like going going to school, Yo. I was driving through the, the, the dirt jumps and like with my backpack on, doing a run <laughs> on the dirt jumps. That's sick. Before going to school. Look, he tried to front flip oh, away. Almost got it. Second place right there. Just for trying it? I think so. Hell yeah. That was worth it. Oh, Look, they were this celebrating, is Santi. Boom, backflip bar spin tail whip. First oh. time oh. ever seen, first place, first time ever seen in Colombia, backflip bar spin whip. Damn. Bang it out, people was, just going crazy this guy wow. is that's a heavy crowd because it was yeah. that heavy at the beginning too so they just fucking just, yeah that is sick yeah they, they, they keep doing like a lot of events still there they still do a lot of those but like after that that was pretty much the biggest one and like they they have done a lot after those ones well that's shout sick. out to the colombian scene in yeah. general shout but out to the Columbians. yeah so many frank uh, chapole you michael there's a lot santiago munoz yeah santiago munoz the Santi. What's the OG? The fit? The one that Christian Christian Torres. Yeah, yeah. 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 having a brain Boris. fart. The OG. Never so forgot so many we're forgetting. Yeah. But. All right. This Unclick podcast is brought to you by Source BMX. We're very grateful to have them as a sponsor for the podcast and uh, couldn't work anymore organically. Yeah. Huge shout out to Source. Been a supporter of our BMX from the beginning, supporter of the podcast this year. They did kick off one of these new programs called Source Rewards. This is a brand new program that they have. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. You get, you get money back for spending money. Basically. And not even that. So you, you get points. Uh, when you join, you get points when you spend money, of course, but you also get points Look for signing this. for the mailing list. You get points for your birthday. Leave a review. Yeah. Easy points all over. Make a purchase. Refer friends. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. Look yeah. at all that stuff. So uh, Genius. The source guys are geniuses. They yeah. make it better and better to buy from them. Yeah. And then so you can, uh, this is how you, you spend those points. You can get uh, hats, badges, what? socks. I got to tell you, those socks. Those socks are the ones Those right there. Good. They do somehow work. <laughs> they are good socks. Um, the Oxygen Thief Repair. <laughs> I, I love so, it. They have everything on here, all the products. And yeah. now they have basically like a frequent flyer miles thing. It is but like that. It's like that. But yeah. for buying BMX shit. Yep. So shout out to Source. Wow. Uh, it's just yeah. like a frequent. You get the bronze, really silver, is. gold package. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you to Source for all they do. We appreciate you guys. And uh, back to the podcast. Thank you, Source. Dude, we're so good at this. <laughs> that's okay, so yeah, us. that's one that's one thing we didn't wrap up. So you have residency or what do you have for I Barcelona? I have currently a residence for five years, uh, which will expire in two years. But after you have the residence for two years in Spain and you have been living there, you can make an exam to have a Spanish passport. And that's my go-to for the next thing I will do. Okay. Having like a Spanish passport. You just pay like some fee and do an exam and then you got what is all the this? This BMX. Is the this is the Nora Cup smell. list. Oh. What's, your, what's your email? Oh. We'll leave this out, but. Our gmail.com. All right. Boom. Okay. All right. 
And I was like, I don't have Santi's, Santi's email bounce back. I'm going to ask like, him I when I see him. I haven't received any yeah, notification yeah. about the NeuroCup <laughs> stuff and I'm worried. No, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm actually like kind of on time this year. So I said the final day was today, but obviously it runs, it runs for like another week. So only about like halfway there because I cover, I count the amount of votes every year and then like I try and match that or do a little bit better from the previous year. So it's. So I I've, drop. yeah i try i try and just like keep going and keep going and keep it's hassling good. people until it's, it's like yeah. the same yeah. amount we need so, that yeah um vote for reader's choice people it's yeah reader's thing. choice is going cool yeah, i, don't I know. voted yesterday nice nice i voted uh, twice who'd you vote for are you, are you scared <laughs> say well once a day you can vote once a day, day. that's yeah, pretty epic if you like someone i voted for harrison harrison watching him ride this is like the most entertaining that's a good rider vote. you can watch right he just grabs the bike and does a bunny hop double bar spin <laughs> yeah it's crazy it is a good one it is uh, a good one yeah i don't know today i voted for mickey yeah. you change your vote he deserved it nice yeah, yeah, yeah. mickey's sick i voted yeah. for killian killian roth damn that is so many <laughs> yeah yeah definitely He's, i the, the crank mm. hard 360 was a trick that like he was talking a lot like lately and like when i saw him on his last video part he showed me be, like when he got it and he was just like when he got it done he's just like cool too like i was like you got it bro like yeah i'm stoked yeah. for him he also does it'll be really it'll cool be a crazy stuff. year i feel like i feel like i mean i've already started counting some of the votes and i and i feel like there's a couple categories another thing i do is i highlight the the nominees you know and then from the previous year and then you can kind of see who was in last year and if, if they're back in the in, in and there's a couple categories where none of the nominees from the previous year are in the top five right now. Oh. Of course, like I said, I'm only like halfway through, but none of the not, you know, obviously video and video part is all brand new. But like the other thing watching those is to this where like, there's just mm. like this, there's big turnover where like the mm. whole it could be like the whole like top five are brand new people. And mm. it just could be crazy. So that's gonna be. Sick. But it's always nerd. I, I always could definitely like see nerd, that for a street nerd. rider in park. Yeah, yeah. I think sure. I, I'm one of them. You got one of them right. One of them is another one. So, huh? but one of them. One of them. Those was right. Mm. So you have fifty fifty chance. You can choose. So All right. But mm, let's see. But yeah. Let's get this um, this year. And then you going to Hastings for that? Hastings, yes. Oh sweet! He, he runs the damn thing. He's got to go. you going. Are you going? No, I'm not going. No. No. I haven't get invited. I got. I almost invite got invited. Invite the man. Invite the man. Invite me. Whoever yeah, listens next to year. this. Yeah. Or if you, Courage. If you. I don't know. They they always change the, <laughs> the courage. <laughs> they, he he invited me once, but I didn't have a visa. I needed a visa back. You would kill it at that park. Yeah, you would. Perfect. That looks so perfect for you. Yeah. So perfect. Fun. You're gonna get an invite after this. Somebody's gonna be like, somebody's gonna bail out. And yeah. Be like crazy. Oh, anyone crazy. gets a bail. Yeah. Santi's right there. Yeah. <laughs> I will be fun to do it. It's definitely one of they're my gonna, bucket They're going to invite Dennis first. He's going to say no. Then they're going to invite you. Get, get, get to me. Get to me. <laughs> I'll refer you. You're my referral. Let's Throw do Santi in there. He'll do down. better than me. I'm ready. Talk yeah, okay. <laughs> um, talk, to, talk to Creasy. Creasy's, Creasy's listening. Shout out to Creasy. Santi, if anyone needs someone, yeah, Santi, no. get him over there. Shout out to Source. It's crazy. Shout I haven't source, get there. Creasy. Like once Kodesh invited me and uh, I needed a visa to go there. They canceled the visa stuff like two years ago. So I could go but like once he invited me i was like i cannot get a visa sorted right now like my my situation my migrant situation was a mess back then when coders invited me so he he selected another writer and last year murray kind of blew his knee for boyd's team mm -hmm. and boyd asked me if i wanted to go and i was like bro like please like let's do it i'm i'm down and and at the end, Murray got like some x-ray and it was all good. Oh. He could go and ride. So he was like, sorry. Yeah, uh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. One day, even if, even for just going riding there, whatever, somehow getting to the UK. I haven't been in the UK. I haven't been in Japan. I haven't been in Australia. Still need to go a lot of places. Nice. Yeah. You be in those places. You all guys. Been yeah. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. Uh, a little <laughs> bit. Tiny bit. Cash up. Cash, Cash up, up. Maybe. Maybe later go this year. Maybe. Oh, maybe. God. So. I need a visa to go there. He's like, ah, yeah, another one. So bad. Another one. He's yeah. a visa for every country. Another one. God yeah. damn. Mm. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. And it's the same kind of process. It's the same. I mean, for the States, it's like the most complicated one, but like it would be the same. Like I, if it would be like 
live or die for like going to Australia. Like if King will have told me like, you need to go to Australia too, to be a BMX, a pro BMX rider, I would be like, okay, let's go to Australia. Yeah. yeah. But, but it's just like, it would be like a, I don't know. I feel like going to Australia would be like a filming trip or like a discovering, traveling, visiting. Uh, not you worth know, a hassle for like worth. a street jam. I have yeah. a lot, a lot of Colombian people moves there for like work is good for work, but I, I don't feel like I will do that. And I don't know. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Have think about moving here, but like, I don't know, maybe in the future. I don't know. Chipotle is too expensive. Chipotle is too expensive. <laughs> taxes, taxes, taxes. <laughs> taxes <yeah. laughs> Not the prices that they put on the But sticker. you don't know, you only have to do it every three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's an adult thing. Damn. Well, you said you didn't have a house with AC until you were 25. I'm 25 now. I'm ready for there the you AC. Go. Yeah, you can hear it. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's when you have to move away from the ocean. You have to get the AC. That's yeah. true. Look yeah. at me. I'm red. <laughs> I need that. Been out here in the sun. Um, I'm loving it. Dude, thank you so much. It was cool. to. I, I feel like I've I've always been a fan of yours and and met you in like random spots and said what up and stuff like that. But it's cool to fucking hear your story and, and I could get to talk I'm to you, be locked to be into here. a room with you and talk to you yeah. for a little while. I'm stoked so. to be here. I'm, yeah. I'm a fan and yeah, I'm just stoked. It's crazy that we were in Colombia four years ago You're the man dude sure. start to be your friend here. no thanks no. for coming any Stop any here. shout outs any last words you just want to say peace i'm gonna be back to writing dennis backyard again i can't wait <laughs> I, I, the second session i was casing a lot i was like what's happening i pumped my tires more i was like i don't understand what's going everyone on everyone got there later it was quicker like more people there the other session was more chill like mm. you know that's how it happens sometimes i liked it yeah it's good. <laughs> best ramps i ever written like, yeah facts yeah damn like the the transition Jason Watts the, I think they're the, I think they're some of the Jason best ramps Watts. in the world too like the transition angle when you know, the quarter pipes when you're going it's like just perfect those and like Pat's one like yep. just for a BMX bike like it's not too steep not too mm -hmm. like I don't know how you say that like mellow quick to yeah. no to no mellow like you just have to go and like pull it reminds me of the of the local deer park that we have in we were talking about the deer jumps but we never talk about the deer park and uh, and it was just corners and like huge steep quarter you made pipes a park, and park out of dirt a park, park out, of, out dirt? of dirt yeah jasmine deer park it has like i feel like i've seen photos of this somewhere. i think so definitely, too definitely yeah what's Has the name of it no all jasmine one. jasmine deer park jasmine you guys do dirt right down there yeah we, that was the closest thing to not jasmine with the c jazz mm, Spell it. J A C. No, not C. Like S. the the Z. S. Oh, okay. A Z. Oh, okay. Jazz. M I N without the E. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That I might work. That work. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I've seen this. No, not that one. That was fourteen years. Up. Maybe go a little bit more down. <laughs> more down. More down. Four years. Ooh, twenty k view. More fourteen. Down. There's years Christian ago. footage. Like that was like, no, but that was too much back in the day. I'm gonna show it to you how it's now. I cannot believe that Ooh, isn't there. It's so old. Uh, it's still there. I just saw this. I, I I will embarrass myself a little bit with this one. If you want to go up a little <laughs> bit, go up. No, go down. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> down, down. This, this one, one, the Jasmine Park one. That's me avoiding school and going to ride <laughs> the Jasmine Park. <laughs> that's, 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 this that's is in your, your town too. With those that's yeah, jumps? that's in my town. Look at me. That's it. Which, which I was with the, the left, with the course. school with the school uniform. Pretty cool bike. If you go a little bit like bro, you can see the writing. The first four it's minutes is like photos. it's just photos, but then you see footage. And that's me. Damn, I what? didn't know how to bar spin. I was riding gloves. That's, that was I mean, maybe why it was. It's going to be embarrassing to you, but everybody. It's not this embarrassing. Is, this is, this is, yeah, like, this is you. Like, this is fucking the roots. That's amazing that you had. And it was big. That was the place where I met Christian. That's and he nice was looking boy. like that. It's, it's that's like, you right there. Uh, no. That's one of my friends, but yeah. we were just like avoiding. We went at six in the morning to, to the school. And we were just like, should we just go ride? <laughs> and we, we didn't got. Is that to, a dirt jump into it? Yeah. Oh, and you cool. could like, yeah. Hip. We ride it later after a satellite dish thing. Oh no, it's a wall yeah. ride. Yeah, spool thing. No one was riding it. It was just those and the flyout. I learned my first bar spin there in that flyout. 
That was how he was looking like. That looks so fun. He was super sketchy. They used to sell drugs in the back part of it. They <laughs> killed someone once there. Oh, shit. It was crazy. In the middle <laughs> session, we just heard, ba ba ba. It's like someone just like got killed. It's crazy. Dude, that there. berm looks insane, too. It's fun, yeah. It's like now he's super changed, but... Probably has progressed a that lot. Was, that was you in the blue pants. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Show that to Dennis. Probably follow his back. Oh, but if... <laughs> <laughs> My God, bro. I was having a good time. <laughs> my sheen i heard Too my funny, sheen man. i remember a well, good time bro. bmx is the yeah. best mm -hmm. it is it is it is cool looking forward looking forward to fucking seeing you kill it all over the world dude i, Thank you, I appreciate Let's it do it one-handed tables <laughs> i'm glad i get to do some you guys like. <laughs> and more and more lots more it's good hanging with you yeah. a little bit the last couple weeks and i can't wait to see you again hey bro i know come come back to barcelona one day i can't wait one Seen day sounds pretty far away one day whenever <laughs> i can i don't know uh, okay we're gonna okay. get there we're gonna get there i miss and it you have to do the cheetah hair i'll come back with cheetah hair <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I promise I will come back to Barcelona soonish. It's recorded on long. video. There you go. All right, all you're right. the man. Thank, Thank you. you. You are. Thank you, Santi. You Shout out to Kink. Shout out to Animal yes. for all of, and what other brands support you. Shout out to Twin BMX, my Odyssey. first ever no sponsor. <laughs> oh my bad, dude. Sorry. Vans BMX, everyone that pretty much have um, been part of the ride and King BMX right now is pretty much my biggest sponsor. Uh, Odyssey band, shout out to Colin to for the hookups and like always being there pending of us. And yeah, bands Odyssey, the cut, and shout out to the cut as well. The crew out there, like J Row, J Row again, Pato. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Jay, always knows it. And, shout out uh, to the Colombian BMX scene. Shout out as to a the whole. Oh, I love them. Keep them, keep in, keep them coming. I love to watch new people all the time. For a moment when I was like not connected to to what was happening in Colombia, I felt like the scene was dying. But when I went there, it feels like it's more alive than ever. Yeah, and it feels like people is doing right stuff there and filming and and doing big tricks, big double bar swings, big everything. So it's good to watch, and I just want to watch more of that to all the guys that like don't get lost on the street traps and just keep doing the 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 thing. Oh yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Santi. Beautiful. Thank you, Dennis. Shout out to Dale. You, Shout guys. out to Source. Yep. And uh, see you next episode. Next episode. Take everyone out. Hell Stoked. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Hell yeah, dude. Loved it. Damn. Yeah, that was sick. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, how, 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 how much did we got? One hour? That was two oh, hours and 13 No minutes. way. It was, was recording, not. yeah. Oh, my God. It goes quick. It goes quick. I don't remember when was the last time I spoke that much English. <laughs> oh my God.